So I should be able to switch it to that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you Mark lost your Ah, oh, bummer, Smash. Justin. Also, can you guys hear me now? Look at this yeah. screen, so it's great to see you. <laughs> this other cat, by the way, text. That's terrible. Yeah, I forgot to open up RTX voice switch, so that way, you know, loud and clear. Awesome. Yeah, RTX voice, that way we cancel out other noise. So, yeah. Uh, so, first off, this is not a PG stream. So... <laughs> exactly. So, yes. Um... Hi, C. Jeffrey. Welcome to the stream. Um, tonight's not PG, by the way. Just fair warning, C. Jeffrey. Um, so yeah. Also, I have squishies for you. I have two squishies. Squishy, 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 squishy. There you go. All right. So we're doing Dungeons and Dragons tonight. We have. Hello. 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 Welcome to the stream. It's great to see you. It looks like it's your first time here. Welcome on in. We're just starting. PSA, definitely not a PG stream. <laughs> exactly. Although it looks like Miriam, it's their first time in chat. So welcome in. I'm text two. Usually we're PG. Tonight we're not because we're doing Dungeons and Dragons. Say hi. That's awesome. So uh, we have several people here. Uh, we have Dimitri, who is playing a character named Lana. Uh, Dimitri, would you like to introduce your character? Uh, hi, um, I'm Dimitri, and my character, um, his name is Lana. He is a water genasi druid. All right, and Ginger Bay is. Lana. I'm sorry, what? The name, Lana. the name Lana throws me off every time when he says that his character is male. <laughs> like the name is Lana, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm also going to um, share my Discord screen so you guys can see that as well. Um, so you can see who's talking. Alright, so Ginger Bay is playing a character named Alex. I'm actually up late for that. That's awesome, Miriam. So would you like to describe your character for everyone? Um, actually describe my character or what everybody sees? Um, describe what everyone sees and then describe your character. Because everyone uh... sees, because those are two different things. Can everyone in chat roll a d20 for perception? <laughs> yeah! Uh, 20, chat! Oh, boy. Uh, let's see here. Chat's roll 20. Let's see here. Chat got a natural 20. Hey. No! Like, chat gets to know. <laughs> like, I, I just rolled it, and uh, let's see here. Hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to show you guys, because... Um... What, Mel, wait a second, wait a second. What are you? Can you send me a link to where you're streaming so I can see this? Please? It's uh Twitch. You're on Twitch. You're actually on Twitch. Yep. Yeah, it's on Twitch. So if you look, that's an actual twenty. You know I didn't touch it because you saw me not touch it. It's a nat twenty. Look at that. It's a nat twenty. I didn't touch it. Two avatars are hiding. I want to see. Are hiding a little bit. I need to figure I'm... out why they're not. Why oh they're hiding. God. God, it is a twenty. <laughs> what I, the fuck? Like, like, flips, like, really? <laughs> hey, Free Marina, welcome to the stream. Okay. Anyway, oh wait, Free so Marina's right here. <laughs> welcome, welcome, guys. If you haven't followed Afton, you should totally go follow Afton. You're an amazing streamer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, PSA to the chat. D A D. We are, and this is a non PG stream. So yeah. <laughs> Just a heads up to the to the chat. It's it's gonna get a little ridiculous. It it's is. gonna get real funny real quick. Yes, no, and evidently my chat bot isn't working tonight. So yay. What I put in the chat. Um. Uh... Wait, 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 which app? Oh, socks? The man? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It is your lucky day. It is. It <laughs> is. Also, this is not a PG stream. So, um, yeah. We should add it. Re I should add it redeemable to make me cuss. <laughs> yeah, you should. 
actually. Yeah. That I might actually be something I, I spent think... some uh, some bits on. <laughs> I... Bits? I was thinking channel points. <laughs> that too. Okay. I've been friends with Elle since um I was in elementary and middle school. And I've heard Mel cuss once. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Alex, what people see when they look at Alex, how do you de you describe it better? How what do people see when they look at Alex? Um, what do they see when? Oh, that's why you can't see Streamyard Heart because it's like halfway hidden. Give me one second, guys. Um, uh, I need to reset something here. Press one. Where's the reset transform? Edit transform. Our position is zero zero. Oh yeah, I should probably join roll twenty. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you Good idea. Games. Oh, why is streaming at a person with me on here? Come on. You know what? I'm gonna delete it. I wonder what if I hide it. Hide it? Oh that's right, because it's a lock. It's a locked! Streaming avatar needs to transform and reset transform. And then I can. Seven foot free! That's a lot! Okay. So, Alex, describe your character to the group. So, um. So, Alex is what people see is not what Ali Alex is. Alex is a homebrew character. She is like a, what I call a griffin folk. Primarily white tiger and golden eagle. You can see her actually them in the if you could move over and circle Alex for me, Mel. Um let's see here. Circle Alex oh, on Oh yeah, over here. This is what Alex looks like over here. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Alex can also have a very feminine look, which I believe charged Drew. Yes. Uh, I can pull that picture up. Let me... Um... Alex, Alex is a gender-shifting griffin. They can change their gender at will. Um, and... When people look at Alex, all they can, if they do not know what's under the hood, all they can see is the hood. Exactly. Once you know what's underneath the hood, the veil of magic disappears. Uh, so that way they, you don't have to be like, you know. <laughs> so, be a little bitch. Yeah, this is Alex's character as a female. Um, they can transition between female, male, and androgynous. Just how they feel. And the male and the androgynous looks basically alike. Couple minor subtle differences, that, but if you're not looking for it, you can't really tell. Yep, exactly. So, that is Alex's character. So, we all There's have... A what? I saw a dog. Yes, that is Charge's dog. I'm um, cradling an apple in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, there you guys. You gotta see a doggo on stream. Yes, I'm not ignoring everyone. We just tried to get some character introductions. Okay, so we have one more person, Poizad, whose character is Baron. Uh, Baron, would you like to describe your character? Uh, absolutely. So... Baron nope. is okay then. I guess I'm not <laughs> describing my character. Plot twist. Plot twist. <laughs> so she looks very much like a traditional elf. Um, she is a protector Azamar, um, and uh, she can summon a little. I think it was. Oh! Blue dragon? It blue is a blue Alex dragon. Yep. I forgot about that. Alex has dragon tails. A little, um, a little prismatic dragon that basically does nothing. 
Except fry yep. little sausage cakes and then eat them. <laughs> oh, Does nothing I... for now. The same magic that protects Alex protects uh, socks too. Yeah, if you don't know what they are, you can't see them. They're just kind of a blur. Socks is based off of my kitty who has only three legs. Exactly. So now that you know who the characters are, I'd like to summarize the campaign up until now. <laughs> We started a band. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, freaking Lana dropped a potion with Alex's feather in it and brought a sausage to life. <laughs> it was and that point. Live, we started a band. <laughs> wait, wait, I have, I got, I have to. You have to show it in Discord. I have to send the GIF in which caused the whole freak that had Alex's freak out. Hey, welcome to the stream. It's great to see you. Oh. So everybody can see how bad Alex freaked out at one point. I think it's in the D and D, so I can just look for it. Oh, there it is. I, just, I saved it to my phone. <laughs> I found I got, it. I just sent it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, I, that's what it looked like when uh, her character freaked out. It was a pretty great time. It also, was. Vomit her GOP. Yeah, I'm pretty Lana was clinging as a bird on freaking Demi on her clothes. That was hilarious. <laughs> really was. And good. then she fainted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yes, you guys started a band. You played, and um, after that, you you know she gave you the rest of the health potions because she was too scared to use them. Um, what happened after that? And well, Al before that, Alex found out a bit more about her past that she does not know. Mm, exactly. From the, um, from the, from the holy man in the village. So basically, Alex was, has no memory prior to what, what, what was it, 10 years old? Uh, five. Five. And, oh, um, yeah, after ten, yeah. The priest reveal uh did a spell and revealed some of her memory. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, priest is secretly a hidden level twenty adventurer. Guy also Alex child and her speech they live as long as Al, so she's a child. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after that, um they went and investigated the um, area where someone got. They they also had the little fire at the at the holy place, and they grabbed some of the books that were burned and stuff like that because it looked like it was a time bomb locked room that never was really opened that often. They went to investigate a spot where nothing grows. Saw some kind of weird magic. All of a sudden, someone came into town yelling for help. They went and found a tree that could talk that was a treant. And they talked about some type of dark force that moved through them at some yeah, point. What? what? And then we just got through the marsh. The treant wanted poop. Yes, the treant wanted to be fed. <laughs> God, this thing is ugly looking. Hmm. And... So they marched through the mar marsh swamp, following these faint traces of burned stuff that were showing underneath the water, all the way to a plains area. And they settled down there for the night. And that's where we left off. So, you guys have just arrived at the plains, and you're setting up camp. Do not drop the potion. I wonder what would happen if we fed the potion to the treants. Oh my fucking no! <laughs> no, I I think Lana is traumatized to talk. Like yeah. Lana is dead traumatized from that shit. Yeah, I'm just just gonna. Yeah, that's what I, I don't thought. even want to look at the potions. 
Uh, but now they're not so pretty, so... Yep, yeah, okay, so, um, is anyone going to stand watch? Are you guys just gonna all be like, I'm exhausted to go to sleep? Uh, huh? I'll take the first one. Okay! Okay. Are you taking second? I'll take second. All right. So, Lana, everyone, uh, after everyone eats and goes to bed, uh, you go on your standing watch. Um, one second. I'm grabbing books. Energy Master Guide. Oh, and, God, uh, what the fuck? Monster Guide, y'all. Monster Guide, y'all. Monster Guide, section in the library. <laughs> Uh, oh, Grace. Oh, air is rain. Grace asks you how you are. Don't know if you're just lurking in the background or what. So, yeah. So, um, roll a perception check, Lana. Perception check, Lana. Am I allowed to use my dice? Yes. Or... You are allowed okay. to use your dice. Uh, I got a nat one. You see that there's wilderness. So, um, see here, high or low? Um, high. Okay. I cannot believe you just got a fucking nat one. First roll of the day. Hi. Oh my lord. So, are you just sitting there, you just kind of jam it out, uh, uh, you're just kind of just sitting there, you know, humming to yourself. <laughs> All of a sudden, um, out of nowhere, it seems, um, you, you, you hear something right behind you go, snap! Fuck! Um. <laughs> Oh god, did we just find a fucking zombie? Close. Oh god. God damn it, what did you do? Why did you take first watch and fucking roll in that one? So, Lana, as you're sitting there, uh, what's your armor class? My armor class <laughs> is 15. Oh shit, I need to pull up. Alright, so as you're sitting there, you hear the snap, all of a sudden, um... You, you feel all of a sudden, um, an arrow whoosh just through the air and hits you straight in the shoulder. Oh, oh yeah. fuck! It's a fucking ambush, everyone. Yeah, take four points of damage. So, right. um, roll ah. another perception check for me, please. A nine. Okay. So um you know that there's something in the camp. Something's something hit you. But like an NPC in a game, it's like, what's that? Something's oh prowling around here. Oh my god, not like the Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> so Yeah, you know something's there, but you don't know what. Well I sent you a message. Can I try and alert them? Can I try and alert Alex and Baron? Yes, you can. Oh, don't worry, Alex. We'll get that done. Okay, because I legit fucking forgot. Yeah, I think everyone forgot to level their characters. No, okay. I leveled up. Uh, okay. Uh, are we supposed to be level eight? Yes. No. Oh, I already did that. Level oh, okay. Seven. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm level six. Fuck. I haven't leveled up the past. No, time. no, no. You have six levels in one class and one level in another class, remember? Oh, yeah. So now I'm good. I need to do one level. <laughs> yeah. one level. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you can definitely try to wake up, wake them up and sound the alarm. Everyone roll a constitution check except for Lana. So that would be Alex and Baron. Um, well, um, I got constitution. Where the fuck? Um, I got a natural 20. 
Did I get the question of high or low? Did you just roll a nat one? I rolled a nat 20 plus three. I don't want to stay asleep. <laughs> so he rolls a one in both of our rules. Our nat 20s. What is going on here? <laughs> you guys did not work <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. And I hate it. <laughs> I am dead. Mm. This is... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Face bomb. Also, guys, I Wait. have new emotes for subs, and I also have follower emotes now, which are the only emotes that they we play. So if you're a sub, you get the new emotes to play, to use. <laughs> fucking god, I hate this, this fucking game already. Dimitri, um, next thing you know, um, you're alert now, you have no idea where it's coming from. Next thing you know, you hear another arrow whoosh to the arm and it hits the tent behind you. Whoosh! Fuck. Well, see, Jeffrey, you still have you still have emotes though, so you can use the emotes here. What? See, Jeffrey, it is now your. I mean, not see, Jeffrey, Lana, it is now your turn. Um, am I able to? Can I try and see, like, use perception, like, try and figure out where they are or what it is? Perception. Bleeding out. Oh my god, I forgot. I kept on forgetting to add my modifier. But, but, uh, but, one is still a one. I know, but when I, before, when I rolled a nine, I, I forgot to add my modifier to it. Well, what does that? Oh. Okay, 18. All right. All of a sudden, you see everything. The fire flares up, and you see not one, but three skeletons standing around camp. Um, they seem to nope. just be looking through stuff. Um, one of them seems to be running off with Alex's backpack. Dude, no wait, Mel! I rolled an unnatural 20! 20 means you stay asleep. Oh, well. Yes. Fuck, you better get my goddamn back, Alex. Oh, I will. Uh, also, um... Yeah. Do you have a backpack or anything as well? Uh, let me look at my inventory. Yeah, unless you want to fucking die, you best make sure it gets my you get my fucking backpack back. <laughs> I mean, I oh, have no, those books. I... They those books are not in my backpack though. They are just okay. on my person. Okay. Then I do have a backpack with uh well let me see. The bedroll's already out. Mm -hmm. Uh mess kit's probably out. Mm -hmm. Uh rope is probably out because of the tent. Actually you see Jeffrey, followers can also get some free emotes on my channel. So you can use those in my channel. Okay, so um the other skeleton seems to be rifling through Baron's backpack. Um Okay, um, on the one that is going through Alex's backpack, mm -hmm. I cast Tidal Wave. Okay. Um, so you cast a Tidal Wave. The Tidal Wave catches up to the, um, skeleton, whisks its off its feet, the backpack goes flying in the air, and it lands, um... Into pieces on the ground. Oh gosh, the skeleton or the bag? Skeleton. It is oh, now totally dead, dead. Its skull fractured and everything. Well, that 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 was nice. How am I still gonna sleep? The fuck? Alex and Barrett, you guys can roll another Constitution roll now. You the fuck! I want an after one. <laughs> no, you don't. 
Um, what is that? Is that a fucking nine or a six? That's fucking the line. I got a five. Okay. Plus two. Okay. So both of you wake up to this huge water whoosh. Uh, also, Alex, you hear your backpack playing on the ground. Zoom! The fuck is going on here? Dude, have a great day. Have a good, have a good, have a good class. Good luck. The fuck is going on here? That's all I can say. Why did it go quiet? Not sure. I think no one was talking. Baron, Lana, want to say what's going on? Um, well, a skeleton tried to steal her backpack and I just killed it. So, um... Hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Alex, as you look around, you see there's two skeletons. One's going through Baron's backpack, who seems to be stirring and looking around. And you also see a skeleton a little far away. Crouching, taking aim at Lada again. Hi, Charge. Let me. Let me. Um, I am going to. Any roll you do at this moment because you did just wake up will be at a disadvantage. Fireball, right? Uh, you have a fire bolt, I think. Okay, well, I'm gonna fire bolt the one who's taking aim at Lana. Okay, roll for uh, I gotta roll twice, right? Yes. Okay, take the lowest roll. And Fuck. see, Jeffrey got a redeemed a jelly bean, and I don't have a jelly bean zombie. What did you get? Do you wanna know? And that one. Maybe. Alright, you are high. Low. Motherfucking. <laughs> okay, so the bolt goes, and I go into the planes. Uh, no damage done. Uh, Baron. Oh, thank Alright, um. Thank God, thank God! We do not need another forest fire, do we? Or should we say we have, swamp fire? Because that is we a have swamp, grace which means, for that first one. Yeah, which means swamp gas. So, at this point, our weapons are drawn, correct? Um, at, you just woke up. You probably had your weapon, so yeah, your weapon is probably drawn. Although, you will have to do a disadvantage because you just woke up, so. I am going to cast Zephyr Strike as a bonus action. Yes. You move like the wind until your spell ends. Your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks, and once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll on your turn. That okay. attack deals an extra 1d8 force damage on hit, whether I hit or miss. My walking speed increases by 30 feet until the end of my turn. Sounds good. So, where's the closest uh, skeleton? Uh, right next to you, going through your backpack. I'ma hit him. I'ma hit him real hard. Alright, uh, since um, it is right next to you, I will not do a disadvantage roll, but you will not get an advantage either. Okay. So, I just got a 17. That Does that hit? Hits. Roll All right, your... rolling the 1d6 plus 4, mm -hmm. plus the 1d... was it 1d8? Yeah, 1d8. Alexa! And I hit it for a total of 13 damage. Okay, so you go out with your sword and you have to whack it good. Next thing you know, its skull fractures and disintegrates into the ground. And the bones just kind of go into a pile. Some of them ending up in your backpack. Right on. I'll actually add those to my inventory. Okay. 
Um, you have a um, you have a have plus a plus the plus the rest of that arm. Um, also um, a shoulder blade. Oh, you're making so my baby. I know. Alright, see you in a sec, Jeffrey. The food will call. Alright, so, uh, Alex and Baron and Lonnie, you guys will need to roll initiative. Since you now are all awake. Um. I love how Pre Marina is just like. Did we mention that they were the ones that set the fire? You do know that I am Primarina, right? Oh, right. Yep, right. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, Is there initiative split? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a nine. Okay, so it goes Alex, Lana, Baron. Twenty-three. Dirty. Okay, so Baron, Alex, Lana. So, Baron, Alex, Skeleton, Lana. Okay. So, um, it is now the Skeleton's turn. It looks at Baron, and she's an arrow. What's your armor class, Baron? Mine? Yes. 17. Okay. You see a, um... You see a arrow slice through the air right next to your head and embed itself into the earth right next to your campfire. It is now your turn, Baron. All right. Actually, no, no, it's Lana's turn because yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna cast. I'm going to cast a moonbeam mm -hmm. at that skeleton. Okay. Constitution check, really? Okay, so a shot of moonlight comes down in a cylinder focused straight at the skeleton. The skeleton explodes in a fire of bone fragments all over the place as it dies. Holy motherfucking shit! <laughs> he has the power of God and anime on his side. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go grab some jelly beans because C. Jeffrey redeemed a bean. So give me one second as I go grab those. Um, if you guys want to do any roleplay while I'm gone, go ready. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? called an ambush. Yeah. yeah, no, I kind of fucking figured that. I am just still... I'm gonna go get my bag. I can't believe we ro both rolled nat 20s. I can't... I, I was unnatural, but still. Oh, uh, damn. It's just insane. Very much <sighs> insane. I like my nat ones. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Hi, mm. right, I am back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so you still have about two hours of your watch, Lana, by the way. I um just um hold on, so, let me think. Okay. Alex, Barrett, are you gonna probably go back to sleep then? Yeah, I'm gonna Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am that that was weird. That was fucking I grabbed my back back to fucking bed like okay do you look through it to make sure everything's there or do you just grab it i look through it. 
Okay, and you notice that a few miscellaneous stuff is missing out of your bag. Are you going to go look for it, or are you going to do it in the morning? I'm going to look for it. Alright, roll a search check. What 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 is search? Is there an actual fucking thing? Like Uh I think it's there. If not, you can roll a perception check. I don't see search. Investigation. So. Investigation. Uh, investigation, yeah. Natural twenty You look through and you find every single item that is missing in your backpack. Fuck yeah! I'm going to bed now. You also find um uh, some bird poop, some animal poop. And, um, not to brag, but you also find some gold coins. Yeah! Three gold coins, four copper, and two silver. Fuck yeah, you're gonna have to help me add that later. Uh, yeah, you're writing it down though, right? Um, I'm gonna type it in the chat for you to be. What was it? There's three gold. Okay, one moment. Three gold. Ten copper. Ten copper. Two silver. I have money. <laughs> Isn't that the first time your character's ever had money? Basically, yeah. Uh, you also um, grabbed um, something else that you thought was shiny along the way. Hmm. It turns out to be a... Uh, a rusty watch, pocket watch, that oh. no longer works. At least you don't think it does. Although you have no idea that it's a watch. Okay, I pop it in my bag. Might as well. <laughs> All right, so you get back to camp and lay down and go to sleep? Yep, I'm dead. After finding stuff, I'm happy. Alright, Lana. So the rest of your shift goes off without a hitch. Alright. So you go, you wake up Alex, Alex wakes up, and she takes a shift. No shift. I like a bitch. Huh? I joked and said I smack a bitch for waking ah. me. But I <laughs> yeah, it kind of broke up, unfortunately. You're not breaking up too bad tonight, which is awesome. I just started on my phone and, and fucking gave up. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Okay, so, um, high or low? Son of a bitch! Uh, okay. So, for the rest of the night, it seems to be fairly peaceful. You don't see anything, and it passes without a hitch. Thank God. Wait, Lana, did you take the arrow out of your shoulder? Um, I'm assuming, yeah. Also, everyone, I is, had... everyone is healed. It's a long rest for everyone, by the way. They say that they took it out. They have to keep it in overnight. <laughs> okay, mister, who's not in the campaign? <laughs> the look on his face. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, guys! Guys! In the morning! Guys! I found something last night! Ooh, what is it? I don't know! I showed him the watch! Um... Yeah, can I see if I know I found the watch? Uh, you can use a knowledge check. Found a uh, thingy! Thingy! And what is a knowledge check? Uh, uh, what is it under? It should be... Be there. Give me a set. Um. Hold on. Oh, there it is. I'm like, where is your character sheet? <laughs> you know, you know what's funny? Hmm. I didn't set the force of fire like freaking. <laughs> One of the twins did. <laughs> They're here. Don't be shifting blame like that. <laughs> they said 
set the town on fire and the fucking forest. It is not my fault. Um, roll an investigation check. Okay. Seventeen. Yeah, you know it's a pocket watch. Uh, it seems to be fairly rusty, but it may, but it looks like it may just be the outside that's rusty. You don't know until you actually try to polish it up and probably wind it up. Um, can I try and polish it up, polish it up and see if it won't, if it still works? You're gonna give it back, right? Yep, I'm gonna give it back. Okay, I want my strong. Okay, so you're going to need to roll to see how well you polish it and see if it fits in everything. So give me a second here. Hi, baby kitty. Um, I'll be right back. I need to go to the bathroom. Okay. So roll a sleight of hand check, please. 14. Okay. Um... I think Alex said that she said she need they needed to go to the bathroom, right? Yep. Okay. Um uh, also high or low, Pre Marina? I'm gonna go with high. Okay. Um so you polish it up and you put the um you, you you actually find a little slot where the winder goes, and you're able to pull out the winder, wind up the watch, and you're able to set the time correctly, according to the sun, and it starts ticking away. I'm back. Just like Red do. Ooh! I run over and I snatch it. As you look at the watch, you see the clock hands um, move as this, as it seems like it has some type of little pendulum something on it that goes back and forth to the bottom of the watch in time with the second hand. Tick, 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 tick. Uh, and Alex. What? This is going to entertain Alex for hours. Until she realizes um, <laughs> Not a fucking bomb. Yes. Uh, I'll s uh, roll a perception check for me, please. All of us? No, just Alex. You're the one that's uh, holding it. I had to pick up the fucking dice to look at it because I couldn't fucking see. <laughs> um, perception. Where the fuck are you? Unnatural 21. Okay, 21. Alright, so as you're looking at it, you hear a strange little whirring sound in it. Aww. Like it's oh my. About this watch is a little off. Like it's a buzz. Something that shouldn't be at a watch. Although, Can I open it? Roll an insight check. Where the fuck is insight? Oh, insight. Plus two. Okay. 17 plus 2, 19. Okay, so you've heard the pocket watch before. You know the sound isn't normal. Uh, you're going to try to open it? Yeah. Roll a sleight of hand check, please. Where's sleight of hand? Oh, God, plus 10. <laughs> That's what I get for being a thief. Oh, shit, fucking die. Where'd you go? Okay. Have our cameras on for this. Dude, dude, look, uh, I, I'm gonna turn on my camera real quick because this is funny. Okay, okay. So, my my dice are here. Uh huh. And I dropped it. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a fucking sixteen. Well, take it. So twenty cents. Okay, you because you've been a thief for so long, you know exactly how to open up this watch. You definitely take it apart. Um, it's uh, once you take it apart. Um, uh, roll a perception check for me, please. Let's not drop it again. But that though that worked out nicely for me. <laughs> God, I'm having good fucking eighteen two. So twenty unnatural twenty. Okay, so as you peer into it, uh, it looks like a normal watch inside. 
Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Um, it is still ticking and humming, though. It seems like the whole watch is humming. Is it going to explode? Should I cast magic on it? Like, cast a magic detection on it? Yeah, you can cast magic detection. Okay, I'm going to detect magic on it. Um, um, there's definitely some type of magic spell on this. Okay. It seems to only be active when the watch is wound up. Well, yeah? what class of magic is it? What school of magic? What school of magic? Yeah, detect magic determines the school of magic. When did that happen? <laughs> Read the spell! Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what this thing would go into as far as the school of magic. Give me a sec. It doesn't specify attack spell. Yeah, it says if you... Um, if you sense any magic in the way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible object or creature in that area that bears magic, and you learn its school of magic, if any. So, what school it is? Sorry, Mel, I know you're the DM, but I, I had to say something. No worries. Um, it didn't used to do that in uh, 3.5, so... Yeah, 3.5 is way different. They made it a lot simpler. Yeah. 3.5, don't you just mean Pathfinder? <laughs> uh, yeah, no worries. I, I, I forget so that, and so I don't realize that Detect Magic is something a little slightly different, so... Uh, yep. It looks... It looks like it is um, some type of um, warlock magic, actually. Can I, can I like like is there something I can do to see if it's like dangerous, like it's gonna explode or something? Well, it doesn't, no. doesn't seem like it's going to explode, but the spell on it is kind of is you have no idea what it is. How can I determine that? Like. It's a warlock. Oh. Is it what? It's a warlock based magic. Yeah. What so can I war- do? So a warlock is it like spell divination? It. Is it evocation? That's what it means when it says school. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, yeah. Not class, although. Gotcha. Um. Mouth learning. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to look just, into it, sorry. I'm just saying, if you decide to watch Joe Cat's wizard video, he has a whole song about what each school of magic does. It's great. Yeah. Um, Evocation you know, the elements of magic, then you freeze your friends. <laughs> you both, you two, you two. Necromancy spares the dying, or you could just resurrect them. Fuck. <laughs> Transmutation. Turn good things into other things. Conjuration. Actually, no, no, no. I remember that part. My head is, um, um, World of Die. And then, of course, there's, a uh, War Magic is like Tank Mage, like... Getting lots of defense, casting block, 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 block. Yeah, it's an ab, it's an, it's an ab- abjuration. Okay. And what is abjuration, or what? Well, that's it. That's for the characters to determine if they know. Do they know shit about magic? No. Um. Should I do a knowledge check? Yeah. Uh, Did you relay the information that you know there's like magic on it? I'm relaying the information as I. Because you're not a wizard, right? I am a wizard. First level. They're a wizard, Harry. First level wizard, sixth level rogue. Yeah, your background would cover that. 12 plus. Where the fuck is knowledge? Or wisdom? Mm hmm. Just wisdom. 
Would I be able to roll Arcana for it? You could. I got 14. Six. Okay. Uh, so, Lana has no idea what's going on with her. Um, Alex, you seem... Um, let's see here. I, too, am going to roll an Arcana. <laughs> Got an 18. Do I know what Abjuration is? So, Mel, does Alex know what her spell, or what class it is? What school? Uh, well, an Abjuration, it's some type of life or purity magic. Yeah, it's more of protective magic. Yeah. Wards and such. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so it's so, good? What? So it's necessarily. So is it good? For you? Yeah. Great! Um, as you guys are looking at it and everything like that, all of a sudden the watch stops ticking and the whirring stops. Should I roll it back up? Should I make it? Should I do it? Um, roll a perception check. A natural 20. Okay, you notice that the watch seems to tip for exactly 10 minutes before it stops. Interesting. I, I so, relayed. You also happen to know that um, some spells only last 10 minutes at the maximum. Hmm, curious. Oh, Interesting. I do, I put the watch back together and I'm like, I'm gonna hold on to this. Hey, see Jeffrey, so real quick, guys. So, see Jeffrey, I have some new jelly beans because I knew you'd probably want these. So these are Disney Princess ones. They've got little sparkles in them. Uh, see Jeffrey, the squishies are with you. I see them right next to you. So I'm going to grab a jelly bean for C. Jeffrey real quick, and then we'll continue on with our adventure. Somebody just added me on Snapchat, and I don't know who it is. Mm. Yes, it's a good bean. So I got this bean right here. It is a sparkling orange. So let's see. Mm. It's definitely orange, and it tastes great. Thank you, C. Jeffrey. Oh, you should uh, show chat the uh, cursed Eevee. You mean this? Oh, wait, that's a... Uh, that's a... Uh... That is an Eevee. Yes. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the God. one rock type Eevee. <laughs> Put it away, Mel. Put it the fuck <laughs> away. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go back so everyone can see your screen. Alright. So. You guys have seen the watch? I don't know what this watch does, but I think it's good, so I'm going to hold on to it. So, character knowledge, uh, I mean, player knowledge, not character knowledge. Um, actually, no. I'm not telling you what it does. DM <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> uh, I wonder what kind of abjuration could be on it. Let's keep going. You roll another arcana. Let's keep going, guys. Come on. Nah, you rolled an arcana already for it. Mm. You're right. You're right. Yes, if you want to be able to roll an arcana again, you'd have to study abjuration magic. Uh, orange. It's an oh, what? Oh, it's an. Oh, is it orange? Um. 
It's orange jelly beans, said Jeffrey. It just tastes like an orange. Alright, so. You guys pack up camp for they're getting ready to go? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So as you guys pack up camp, uh, you notice the. Hi, my blue cup. It's empty, anyways. It also has a hair in it, so I need to get a new cup. <laughs> so, um, as you um, as you guys pack up camp, you notice that the line of um. The line of black smoky stuff. Seems to go up into the prairie. And I it take kind of takes a sharp turn to the left. I I jump up and fly. Oh, yeah. Jump up and fly? Yeah. I'm if I'm not well, I can I'm always flying. Just like just assume I'm flying. Okay, Baron. I'm flying. I'll follow. Lana. Uh, I guess I'll follow. Alright. So, as you guys are following this, the prairie gives way into harsh desert conditions. Um, the sun starts beating down, and, um, yeah, do you guys have water flasks? I do. I do. I, should. I do indeed have water flask. Okay, I'm going to assume you filled them up before leaving for the morning. Yeah. No. Okay. Um, you're going to need, all of you need to roll a constitution check, please. We go to need team. Okay. Why are you talking like that? Well, if you really want me to swap it up, I can always go a little bit more like this. Oh, fucking God. I got a 19. Okay. I got a 22. Hi. So the desert doesn't seem too hot to you guys, and you're able to continue on. Um. Everyone, roll perception for me, please. Oh my fucking wink. Um. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-five. Look at you go, Dimitri! Mm, I keep getting nice. 18. It's weird. Man, makes up for that one that you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. I don't know where is. Oscar's in the box. <laughs> Hey, now, now. Yeah. All right. Look at the look at the camera. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Hi. Oh, where'd the camera go? Oh, I don't know. Give me a second. It's doing something stupid. Okay. Okay. Oh, Oscar. <laughs> Where there? He's in the box. Oh. The box. And there's stocks going, okay, that's my box. Why are you doing my box? <laughs> okay, so. Oscar's back at it with those white socks. Well, look at this. Look at, uh, let's see if I can get her to do it. Uh, 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 come on, baby. Do not get off. <laughs> so, as you guys are looking out across the uh, desert, all of a sudden, you oh see. Oh my god, get off the box! I don't want to. You guys see in the distance um, something that looks like a very <clears throat> tall person. And something that's very short and squat next to it. Oh, shit. I'm not, I'm not approaching this. Uh, you guys can approach. Somebody else can approach first. Fuck this. I'll approach first. Okay, as you get closer, you see a hill giant and an ogre, um, just kind of waltzing along. The ogre's like, yeah. and you see that? I just picked them up! Oh, come on. 
Oh, look at this. We got some more adventurers here. Hmm. More adventurers in my domain. State your business. Why, why we are traveling performers. And we are just on our way to a the next town. Roll deception. Oh, God. I mean, I'm not deceiving them. We are. Me and Baron, we are a band. <laughs> Alex, help you out. 15. Okay. Oh. Do not. Are we all rolling deception? Nope, just the person who's talking. And you said 15? Yes. Well, I do see the instrument on you. Mm. You, you're, mm -hmm. it gets so boring around here. Would you guys like to play me some music? I have a lot just over there. Maybe I won't teach you if you play good. Sure, um, any song in particular? Um, do you know Ragafar the Deportable? Can I do a check to see if I know what that is? Yeah, do a knowledge check. Um, I, I'm just gonna stand here. Is, is, is knowledge intelligence? Yes. Oh, not one. Okay. Can I see if I know what it is? Hold on, he got a nat one, low or high. Um, we'll we'll go low this time. Okay. Um. Y'all dead. So you think you know it, and you start seeing it, but you're not quite sure if it is. So you ask him. So, you may want to ask him before you start seeing it and just go like, is this the one you're talking about? I think I know it. Yeah, I ask him, is this the one you're talking about? Oh, a performance check for me, please. Eighteen plus three. Yeah, let's see, yeah. Mm, not bad for performance, but no, that not it at all. Baron. Yeah, you can you can roll on a knowledge check to see if you know what it is. You got a okay. nineteen. All right. Uh, yeah, you know the song fairly well, actually. Lana, yes. harmonize. I got this. Ready. I'm gonna start playing it. Strike so a pose. I strike a pose. The, 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 um, the, the child looks, it go, looks at Barry and goes, Yeah, the little one knows it. He's just, it sounds pretty good, but not you. You're going cave. Otherwise, I eat you. Okay. Okay. He looks at, behind you, What's that thing in the hood? Oh, well, that is just our lackey. They just carry our. They are just traveling with us. Hmm. Okay, they could come. I don't know what it is, but it's probably good. If hungry, I eat. Oh, I'm sure it tastes like chicken. <laughs> you Sorry, gonna so let him do you like that? <laughs> Alex? I... I... Don't, what am I supposed to do? Alright, so do you got all three of you follow him into his cave? I'm gonna... Sure, I'll, I will follow the giant pedophile into his van. I mean, cave. I just stay with Baron. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna stay outside the cave. Okay, so uh, you guys go enter the cave. The ogre is just a... <laughs> yeah, you really coming this time, right? I don't know what I'm playing. 
It sounds like they could tear some little tidbits around here. You know how bored we get. So you get to the cave. Um, Alex, you stand at the entrance of the cave. Um, so, it, it doesn't seem like the giant notices that you stayed behind at the entrance. I don't want to go outside, inside the cave. Caves are too dark. Right, CJ? I, I don't trust this whole fucking thing. <laughs> as you guys enter the cave, uh, you see some blue lichen moss around the outside edges. Kind of lighting it up in a weird kind of sort of uh, eerie glow. Uh, you see a pile of bones in the corner. Um, some of them look vaguely humanoid. Uh, you also see a skull of what looks to be a dragon over there as well. Um, and also some various other trinkets and doodads as well. Swords armor, stuff like that, kind of strewn around, kind of like discarded from picking bones off clean. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go in the fucking cave. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, caves are definitely creepy sometimes, see, Jeffrey. So, um, as you guys get it, he, he, he plops himself down to the earth, and the, and the ground kind of vibrates underneath him as he goes, <laughs> as he plops down. The um, the cave moss just kind of um, almost falls off the cave wall as he sits down. He looks at you guys and goes, okay, now play or I eat. Ready, Marion? As it'll ever be. I can't okay. believe this fucking situation. <laughs> Guitar right, both... hero! Alright, both of you, roll, uh, roll a performance check, please. Got a 17. Set color to blue. I got a 7. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, Lana, what are you doing? Are you singing or are you harmonizing? I'm just um I'm just just playing back like the background tune, just trying to harmonize in the back. Alexa, stop. Uh, hey Google, stop. I have no idea what you were saying. Uh so you're just kind of hubbing around in the background. Okay. Um and Baron, are you singing or just playing? Or both? Oh, Alright, so Baron's singing and, and playing his heart out. It seems like he's doing very well. Although Lana seems to be screeching at the background. <laughs> ah, yeah. Jack goes, mm. Hey, Alexa. He looks over at Lana. He and he throws a bone at him. Uh, Lana, what's your AC again? My AC is 15. Um, Alright, the bone strikes the wall behind you. It misses you by a long shot. You little person need to sing better. That is terrible. It <laughs> hurt my ears. My good ear. Other one got hurt by a club in face. Alright, uh, Lana, roll another performance check. Please do better. Okay. 16. Okay, Lana's scared straight. Next thing you know, Lana seems to do a lot better in hitting the, um, the nuts. The, the dragon. Ooh, much better. Where did that wooden figure go? As you start searching the cave. Uh, he seems to just kind of like be bumbling around a little bit. You just can't find it. Can't find um, the hood. And he's just starting to get angrier and angrier. Um, although, he, he seems to stop. 
And yeah, I don't see Jeffrey. I haven't changed my thing since Christmas time. <laughs> he kind of stops, looks around, goes, mm, good music, and sits back down, shaking the floor again. A few minutes later, he goes, mm, Me hungry, me need eat. He goes, he starts looking around the cave, where's that hooded person? I can't find him. I'm glad I did not go in the fucking cave. He, he, he gets a little frustrated as he can't find him again. And then he looks over at um, Lana and Baron. He looks at Lana and goes, Mmm. Mmm. What? Mmm. he sits back down. Okay, Lana, Baron, what do you do when you finish the song? You can play him a lullaby and knock his ass out. <laughs> Just... um, Lana? I'm trying to think. I would like to, uh, I would like to fucking hide. Uh, hide. What, about what time, what time of the day is it? I just want to ask. Um, let's see here. It is, it is mid-morning. The sun's shining, um, and it's, it's the opposite side of the cave, though, so, um, it, it casts a shadow, but yeah, it, it's still morning-ish. It's not exactly noon yet, but it's getting close to it. Okay, can I play a little bit? Yeah, you can. Uh, Baron, you're gonna try to hide? Okay, roll a stealth check. Dirty 22. I can't believe you guys actually went in that fucking... The hood was a smart thing to didn't fucking go in. Okay. Um, Lana, roll a performance check. Please get a good one, or you're fucking oh. dead. Nom 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 nom. 17. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Alright, so Lana starts playing a lullaby, and, uh, and the jack goes, Mmm, that good. Wait, that lullaby? You trying to put me to sleep? No. Mmm, that good song. They sing it out, um, all of a sudden, the ogre pops up and goes, Slime toast tonight! He goes, wait, what? Oh, what over there? I'm psyched at all! And he points over at Baron, who's just about at the edge of the cave by now. <clears throat> the Jill Giant looks at you and goes, Mmm. I don't like when my food wanders off. And he gets up. He looks at Lana and goes, Sure, I'll eat later. I'm going after a guy who think he can make it out the cave and me not notice. I, I would like you. to perform an action. Huh? I would like to perform an action. Okay, what would you, what would you like to do? You remember what I did with the fire? What did you do with the fire? I uh, clapped my hands while using thaumaturgy, and it created a force. Uh, imagine that noise, but constricted into a uh, cave where it's reverbing off of everything. Oh god, you're gonna hurt me. <laughs> and Alex. Um, Alex is outside of the cave, though. Yeah, right outside. Um... Your ears are twice as sensitive for your hearing, too. Uh, oh, yeah. They roll for gonna it. yell, everyone, cover your ears. If you do, then the giant's gonna cover his ears. In which case, I'm going to wink and say, everyone, don't cover your ears. Deception. 
And should I roll to see if I understand it? Same here. How did I just, how did yeah, I just you nat roll 20 that? How did I just nat 20 that? What? 25. Oh, I, I got an a I rolled an 18. Okay, Lana and Be Lana and Alex, you both understand that you need to cover your ears. Um. <laughs> uh, what's your modifier for that natural twenty, Baron? For uh, my uh, deception. Yes. It's a plus one. Okay, because the hill giant also got a nat 20. Did he get a higher than 21? No. Well, <laughs> he didn't understand. <laughs> so the giant goes, Whoa! Okay, roll your, roll, roll for your, roll for your attack. You mean the, uh, the sound thing? Yep. Oh, it, it I, it, it's not a, uh. Oh, it's the no, same. Roll for it. It. It's, okay. Uh, it's not even that either. It, it's just I do it. <laughs> okay. Um. So as you do it, um. Okay. okay. Um. Give me a second. Go look it up. <laughs> oh come on! I had the hill giant pulled up. I just didn't have the ogre pulled up. Please let the vibrations have just fucking destroyed their eyeballs. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Now I do have a question. Yeah. Unfortunately, with my hearing being more sensitive, even covering up my ears, am I going to take any damage or anything? Well, good question. You're outside the cave. It's reverbing. Um, roll a constitution check for me. Okay, constitution. Constitution is plus two. Oh, shit. Eleven? Okay, yeah, you, you, you escape unscathed. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... Alright, so... You do this huge boom, the cave starts to reverberate. Um, lower high. Hi. Uh, the cave starts to reverberate, and all of a sudden, as vibrating, you start to feel something start to give way, as parts of the roof start falling to the ground. You guys should take off running! Run! I know I'm Lucy. Jeffrey, you are the one who made it loose. Yeah. Um, so, Lana and Baron, you guys will need to, um, to roll an acrobatics check to make well, it out of the cave. Baron Baron shouldn't have to. Baron's at the mouth of the cave. Still, he's not quite out yet. 18. 19. Okay. You guys successfully make it out of the cave. Um, the hell giant. Oh, you're not going to like this. Oh. The hell giant oh, that doesn't, doesn't sound too. good. Out. Um. Okay, so the hill giant uh, bashes his way through all of the falling stones out of the mouth of the cave, chasing you guys. Uh, while the ogre gets buried in an avalanche of stones and dies. Well, I guess we got rid of one of them. Um, the giant is that extremely upset. Um, he has taken some damage to him, though. 
Uh, and he bellows out, You try me, oh chickly. I'm gonna make you pay. I told you guys, you guys should not have gone in that fucking cave. Do we have to roll nope. for initiative now? We have to roll for what? We have to roll for initiative now. Um, let's see here. I don't think so. You're not going to roll for initiative quite yet unless you want to turn around and start fighting him. I want to avoid a fight if I can. You guys can also start running. Run! While, um, are there any animals within the vicinity? Can I ask? But did we uh, see any animals in the desert before we encountered any of this? Uh, not really. You can roll a perception check to see if you can find any animals, though. 13. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any animals nearby. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Um... I'm going to say something that might blow your fucking mind. Technically, I'm an animal. Yeah, but he meant other animals, you know what I mean? So, Like, I meant, like, one that's not, like... Part of the was... party? Like, soft yeah. or whatever? I meant, like, sentient. Non-sentient. Non <laughs> Yeah. I would like to perform another action as we're running. Um, okay. Um, how far? Uh, 30 feet. 30? Uh, so walking speed. Where do I see this? Um, let's see here. There should be a running speed, I think. Do you mean, like, dash? Yes, your dash to speed. Where would that be? Um, uh, it doubles your uh, total walking speed. Yeah, so you're gonna double your walking speed. So my all my thing literally just says e. -E. <clears throat> it says what? E e. Uh, okay. Um. So for you, you're. Are you going to be flying or walking? I landed, so yeah, I'm flying. Okay, so your flying speed is going to be, um, since you're trying to dash away, your flying speed is going to be um, 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, Jeffrey's like, this is a funny story. I did not want to fight the troll. I don't think anyone wants to fight the troll. See, Jeffrey. He wants to fight the fucking troll. Since you guys all run, <laughs> it's not troll; it's a giant. So, um, as you guys are um, running away from it, it also grants him attacks of opportunity. Um, what are your guys's, Lana? What's your armor class? Fifteen. Okay. So he goes and he throws a rock at Lana. Um, he hurls a boulder, I should say. Oh, God. It does um, 10 oh. damage as the, as the rock I'm hurdles towards Lana and it hits him in the shoulder blade. Not again. <laughs> yep, same shoulder blade as before. Uh, Alex, what's your armor class? 15 as well. Okay. Uh, he picked up another rock and threw it at you and did... Twelve points of damage. Son of a fucking bitch. Alex. 
the rock clips your wing. Um, hi, hello. Hi. Okay, um, it seems to be superficial damage, though, because you can still fly. I'm so far from flying. Uh, um, Baron, what's your armor class? 17. Okay, he still hits you. Fuck this troll! You mean giant? Whatever! <laughs> Alright, you take 13 damage as another rock hurtles towards you and it hits you in, in the legs. Almost knocked. You're gonna need to roll an acrobatics check to see if you get knocked prone. I got a 19. Okay, you did not get knocked prone, even though you're running. Um, home joys, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons tonight, so sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, what's your question, C. Jeffrey? All right, so you guys are continuing to run. Within a couple, within the next round, you do get outside of his rock attack as he continues to try to pursue you. Throwing, trying to find rocks around along the way, but it is a desert, so he keeps, so he, he keeps getting frustrated as he can't find any rocks. Um, there's bubblegum. <laughs> he can't find any rocks as he's going after you, and he gets frustrated. Um. And next thing you know, you see this big, huge tree trunk come flying over your heads and embed itself in the dirt in front of you guys. Um, can I swerve to avoid it? Yeah, roll an acrobatics check. Oh, come on, come on. Um, 19. Yeah, you swerve around that quite successfully. The giant is going, I did you for my dinner. You don't think it was that. And you killed my partner. You pay for this if you ever come back. Oh, good. Joyce, we need to hydrate. I have water here. So, guys, give me one second as I grab some water, okay? I'll be right back. You like the giant voice? <laughs> Well, thank you. We are going to go on a quick BRB. Um, you'll still be able to hear a lot of Alex and Baron, though. Well, I do my BRB. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why do we point out my voice? You'll hear be able to still hear a lot of Alex and Baron. I said Lana and Baron. Oh, I was like, okay, like, fuck. I didn't hear Lana, but okay. <laughs> I was like, damn, is she really doing them like that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean I'm really I'm really quiet when it's just when everyone else is just talking, so like I thought I got called out. So do we want to fight this thing? No. Cause I have something that might actually make it a little easier. What, what do you have? Uh spike growth. What does that do? Uh 20 foot radius centered on a point within range twist into sprouts and hard spike thorns area becomes difficult to rain for the duration and the creature moves into the area they take 2d4 piercing damage for every 5 feet it travels I oh mean I, we, we can do that but we need to be careful we all took massive hits did you not roll to increase your health I haven't done my level up yet ooh yeah, Mel was supposed to help me with my level up, and I... How much health do you have right I now? I have 39 left! If it makes yeah. it sound a better, when I was in my last campaign, I literally one hit and I was and I would be dead. So, yeah, two hits and I would be dead. R.I.P. 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 Rather not fucking die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a convenience. Did you just fucking fart? 
gross. See, Jeffrey says we shouldn't fight the giant. I also have a good spell that might help with us beating the giant as well. You see, see, Jeffrey, here's the issue. We're stupid. I am very much a murder hobo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And frankly, they've trifled with Baron. Justin Darkheart 100 says don't fight the giant either. I so, want to um, fight the giant. I have a question. Is the is a giant considered a magical or a magical... Wait, no, it's not a plant creature, a magical plant. Good question. I don't fucking think so. Sounds like a survival check from the DM. Now, no, 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 I will remind you of something. This, this D&D is not surrounding me by any means. However, the priest said to protect the princess. So, little reminder. Yeah. They literally went, okay, go and do all of y'all's backstory stuff. And then we kind of just went, screw our backstory. I'm here to save the princess. <laughs> is it considered an undead or construct? I don't think it is. No. Okay, good. Oh my god, you guys kill me. <laughs> You know what? You could just keep running. After all, the princess can just keep running. Just keep moving, <laughs> moving, moving. Just keep moving. Oh my god, wait, what were you just singing? Just keep moving, moving. Okay, just let's keep move. swimming, just keep <laughs> swimming, swimming, swimming. That is not what I heard. I, 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 for some fucking reason, I heard Seagull stop it now. I heard the fucking song to Seagull Stop It Now. Rockin' and rollin'. The thing is, Justin, we can't really heal it right now because, well, we're running away from the thing, and if it and if we stop and heal, we'll could probably catch up. That's like the problem, Justin. We're running from this fucking giant because these idiots decided to go in this fucking cave. Here's the thing, the giant no longer has a home. I caused the cave to collapse. <laughs> and he also killed a friend. Yeah. yeah. Cave in. Actually, it might have been more than friend, because it said companion. Oh. Hello! I didn't, I didn't hear that part. God, oh my god, I literally just got the worst fucking image in my head, so thank you guys for that. What of a, uh... Mountain Did giant and a ogre. Yeah. Mountain giant and Shrek. Yeah. It's not ogre till it's ogre. Oh my god! Excuse <laughs> <laughs> uh, me, please tell me. Mountain giant bard. walks in. You're in my swamp. Bard, bard. Um, Lon is a bard. No, I'm a, I'm a druid. Oh, wait, no, Bear, Bear, who's the bard? No one's a bard. <laughs> I just have really good performance. We just, we literally just made it a bit, a, a, a made a band out of nowhere. No uh, bards in the party. Not a PP screen. Like, don't need to censor anything. It is not a PG stream. Freaking Justin's like, y'all just effed up big big, big effed up. Even though I censored it. Not, we're not, it's not PG. I, I'm bad, guys. It even guys. says so right in the title, my guy. Yeah. Like, it's literally right here. Definitely not PG Dungeons and Dragons. Dude, there yeah. is no censorship Mel, here. Mel, they put a horrible image in my head of the fucking ogre and, and giant boning. <laughs> So, let me preface that. We were talking about how you specifically said they were companions. <laughs> so, well, well, let's see here. Companions, partners, you can, you can do that with it. anything as far as that's concerned. 
you know, they're definitely not. I'm friends. sorry, but where, where, where do you go to to seek companionship? I'm fairly certain it's FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be lonely at uh, FarmersOnly.com. Don't you mean? Don't you mean OgresOnly.com? <laughs> oh my god! Local ogre in a swamp five miles away from you. Uh, the, yeah. since it's a, the, here's the thing, though. How did he pleasure hand me? Oh my fucking god, I didn't think you'd get into this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just trying to keep my social media apartment in Texas doing PG and again. Yeah, no worries, Justin, no worries. Uh, okay, so, um, yes. The, the, okay, the, well, we have problem now okay well first i'm gonna head out here in a moment so you're gonna have to do my rolls for me that's totally fine um but we didn't level up my character so my health is like 30 something oh shit i just fucking closed my goddamn dnd your health it isn't going to change much you're only gonna have like six or more six to eight health or more anyways so so, so it's not much to level up with, so you shouldn't have to worry too much. I also made sure to level this encounter for you guys, so technically it shouldn't kill you. Technically. Technically. Oh, I never unsummoned my dragon, by the way. Okay, well your dragon's sit next to you then. Of course, running alongside. Flee, flee for your lives. That's said. I, I don't know what you guys are going to do because I don't know if I can risk fighting. Trust me, you can. It's all right. If anything, we'll re-stabilize you. Uh, the drag, the the hill giant, uh, probably isn't going to KO you, um, unless he crits, and um, I don't think he can crit with his weapon, so you should be good. Because they have a plan on how to fight this fucker. Okay, he I... is uh, still running at us, correct? Yeah, but he's getting uh, very tired very quickly, too. Alright. In, in which case... Let me see. Do, 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 do. Exactly 20 feet in front of him. I would like to cast Spike Growth. Spike Growth. Okay. As a second level spell, the ground in a 20 foot radius centered on a point within range twists and sprouts into hard spikes and thorns. The area becomes difficult terrain for the duration. When a creature moves into it or uh, within the area, it takes 2d4 piercing damage for every five feet it travels. And the transformation okay. on the ground is camouflaged to look natural. Any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a wisdom perception check. Against your spell save DC to recognize terrain as hazardous before entering it. You later. Oh. Spell save DC is a 16. Okay. Yeah. You oh, oh, All right. So, um, so you cast that on the ground. The the dragon. <laughs> you spell no working. What did you? Then all of a sudden, um, we. Oui. Where'd the rest of my dice go? <laughs> I just had them when I was cleaning up too. Go there. Okay. I right, do you want to do the damage dice, or do you want me to do the damage dice? Uh, I'll roll him. Okay, so he's going to travel the full 20 feet because he's because he rolled a nat 1 on that. Um, so you're going to need to roll um, so, uh, so 8d4? Yeah, 8d4. That is a total of 23 damage. So you said 23? Okay, I really need to get 
this thing printed when it comes out. <laughs> so I don't have to use random scraps of paper for hit points. When I'm not using roll 20. Um, I had a thing of... My perception is at zero today, evidently. Yeah, so you what's in Did the we, Yeah, like negative one for perception? Yeah, I cannot find my, um, well, I'm just gonna use this thing. Nope, 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 that's a W9. Um... <laughs> so what? This will work. Okay. Alright. See, Jeffrey asked you what's in the cup. Uh, the, um, in this one, I have hot, cup, hot, hot chocolate, and in the other one, I just have water. So, yeah. Okay, so you did 23 damage to it, so, okay. Alright, so the, um, the child goes, Why ground so, so hurt my feet? They don't like this. Why does it hurt my feet? Does it don't hurt me feet? This new trick, but that 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 they trick ground into hurting my feet. I'm so mad. Okay, he has got to. Did you guys stop while casting a spell, or are you guys still running? I'm just doing whatever they're doing, but kind of staying behind them. Like, did I'm you stop, Baron? I, I kept going. Okay, so yeah. you just cast it behind you. Okay. So, uh, the giant is extremely annoyed, but keeps going. Um, he gets further behind. He tries to throw a rock at Baron because he thinks he's probably you that did it. Um,. He, is, he has kind of tried to speed up a bit. He's kind of got some in range. He does... Uh, no damage that time. As a chunk of... Um, what looks... He, he dug into the ground. And it looks like he actually was able to pull up one of those spikes that you used. Um, even though it's camouflage, she seems to have grabbed it and thrown it at you. And, um, it hits you in the leg. For nine points of damage. Um, can I ask how far away is this, the giant? Um, he's about 50 feet away. 50 feet away, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'd like to cast a spell at him while running. Okay, um, what spell? Uh, I'll cast, uh, Moonbeam at them. Okay, um, roll it. I, uh, I believe I did roll it. Did it? Oh, wait, roll 20. Yeah. Uh, that is a refresh. <laughs> uh. mm, two. Did you see it, or? Um, I'm not seeing it. Okay, here, let me do it again. I know that 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 this giant is pretty funny. He seems to be pretty dim with it, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, I got it. Um. All right. So, uh, the dragon looks at goes, oh, little moonbeam from li funny little man. As he gets hit with the moonbeam. Does he take any damage from it? He or? does. He takes five damage. He say he actually uh, he actually he actually did his Constitution saving throw, so he only got half damage. Is he not dead yet? No, Alex. Are you wanting to hit him as well? I guess while flying, I'm gonna firebolt him. Okay. Um. Justin Darkheart, sorry, we didn't take your advice. 
We're just I kidding. Rolled, I rolled a 14. All right, you hit. Weird damage. Which one is that one again? Uh, let me look. Let's see here. So you said your firebolt, right? Yeah, firebolt, fire, whatever. Um. Oh, it's just, I, a, I oh, it's just it's just a straight five. Okay, you don't have to roll for the damage. Okay, so it hits him. He goes, "Oh, you think I don't like it? I'm a desert." Because, because I don't have anything up at this point in time. Mm -hmm. I, because I'm just waiting on Ben to get back, and then I'm gonna go. Yeah, no worries. Uh, he seems to like brush it off, like Man, that kind of tickled. Uh, he does. He tries to find something. He he doesn't seem to find any more rocks to throw at you guys. Um, there's just way too much sand. All right, Baron, it's your turn now. Of... So thaumaturgy lets me create tremors in the ground, mm -hmm. and I can use it at a distance. Mm -hmm. I would like to create tremors at an epicenter of right underneath the giant. Okay, high or low? Uh, low. Okay. Um, so, you start to make tremors right underneath the giant. As the giant goes, it tries to think, goes, oh, why ground making my feet so thin? No! No! <laughs> As the giant starts getting sucked into the ground, next thing you know, his feet are entirely buried, and he goes, my mom would be a quicksand. Why not have you stuck in quicksand and you guys did it? Am I that heavy? Next thing you know, he's buried up to um, his um, past, right past his belly as he gets covered in sand as the tremors stop. Okay, um, how, see how close is he now to us? Um, I, if you continue to run after he got buried. Um, I, I, I somewhat slow down. I fall. Uh, whatever. He's about the... 60 feet away because he had, he kind of got sucked under, so you guys probably ran a little bit before you stopped. And what did hey, you say, um... Alex? I follow whatever they do because Alex is like oh, so fucking like, done at this point with their stupidity. Yeah, okay. And yes, it's Jeffrey, we'd love to see a trick. All right, so Lana? Okay, um, so if I, like, go towards the giant and then do an attack, is that considered a turn? Yes. Okay, um, I run 30 feet in the giant's direction and cast Blight. Okay, roll for it. 38 necrotic damage. Cell's description say necrotic energy washes over the creature as it goes that you can see within range, draining moisture and vitality from it. The target must make a constitution saving throw. Target takes 8d8 necrotic damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. The spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Okay, so he did, he did actually um, actually do his saving throw. These dice need to go into jail for a bit because they keep rolling so high for me. <laughs> um, so let's see here, half of thirty-eight. Um, so that would be hey Google, thirty-eight divided by two. Thirty-eight divided by two is nine tenths. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Nothing or giant. And he thumps his chest with his bare hand. 
I'm gonna get you if I, when I get out of here. As he's trying to scoop the earth away. Alex, what would you like to do? Um, I, I'm gonna try fire bolting again. No. Okay. Um, I rolled a 15. Alright, that uh, hits. And he goes, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> little honey, think you're doing a little tickle again. That was my last roll. You got, you're gonna have to roll the rest for me. Okay, no worries. John, at least it's get to work. Okay, so John's over there. Um, uh, he's digging. Um. Okay, he seems to have dug out uh, down to about the middle of his belly by now. Uh, there's huge mounds of sand everywhere as he's dig trying to dig himself out. I have not seen your trick, see Jeffrey. It does. It's not showing up in my activity feed. All right, so Baron, it's now your turn. I am actually. God, how much health does this bitch have? So, my dragon is summoned, mm -hmm. and he has an ability called Infuse Strikes. When okay. another creature within 30 feet of my drake that it can see hits a target with a weapon attack, the drake infuses the strike with its es essence, causing the target to take an additional 1d6 damage of the damage type uh, determined by the draconic essence, which is lightning. Okay. So I am going to fire two shots from my longbow, since I have two attacks per action. Mm -hmm. And I am going to use my dragon's reaction for infused strikes to give them both an additional 1d6 lightning damage. Okay, roll your attacks. I got a 19 and a 20. Alright, well you definitely hit. Is that, is that a dirty 20? That's a nat 20. Do you have a do you have a, a crit on that? It is in fact green. Oh, okay. mine is also green as well. Before. Ah. Okay, so uh, you're gonna need to double that damage on that nat twenty. And uh, um, first one's gonna be my nat twenty. Mm -hmm. All right, I rolled. That is a seven plus. Four. Four, so eleven times two, twenty-two plus the one d six. Afterwards, let me roll that real quick. Twenty-two plus five, so twenty-seven damage for the first arrow. Okay. And then after firing the second one, it did eleven damage total. You know, for a level down fucking giant, this thing has a lot of goddamn health. Yeah, but it it, it does have a lot of health, but um, it's also only one monster, and you guys are level seven and level eight. We should all be level eight, but we didn't get me level eight yet. <laughs> yeah. Oops, just... So, uh, as you shoot it with the first arrow, it goes. Ugh! As it opens up a big, huge gash in its stomach uh, area, the second arrow pierces pierces near the head. He goes, Ugh! "Why is this hurt? I, I don't, I don't like this. I'm gonna make all pay and eat every one of you when I get out of here." But Lana, um. Um, I think you see Jeffrey. I am going to. I'm, I'm debating on what I should do. Jed is definitely looking worse for wear. He seems to almost be nodding off and on as you look at him. Okay, I'm gonna cast Blight again. Okay. 
36. Okay. Oh my, Ella. Hi. Hi. So as you hit him, um, all of a sudden, the blight hits him and starts withering his body. You see um, the contents of his stomach start to Ew. explode everywhere as the blight consumes his body from the inside out. His stomach explodes, raining down bits and pieces of um, stomach acid and different pieces of animal carcasses all over the place. I need all of you to roll um, saving um, acrobatics. You have to roll it for me, not to mention my character's going to puke, so you should probably roll for that, too. Acrobatics of Constitution, got it. I'm going to hurl! I got a five. It's a 16 plus 7, 23, dirty 23. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, alright. Oh. Alright, so, um, Lana, you take, oh. um, three damage as a chunk of stomach acid infused meat hits your shoulder. Okay. Um, Alex, you're going to take, um, four damage as a chunk of meat, um, kind of hits your back. Um, and oh. your constitution saving throw is a 17. You do not throw up about this. You feel like it, but you don't actually throw up. Oh. oh. I'm assuming the giant's dead, right? Yes, the giant is very much dead. Okay. Giant went. Kaboom. Can we find some water, please? You have well, water you on you. There. But I don't want to waste water pouring it on myself in the desert. I would like to roll a survival check to uh, see if there's an oasis near us. Please. Uh, 18. Okay. Um, you sense water somewhere, but it seems to be way far in the distance. I, I, I say here, I, um, I got this, and I tell everyone to ga ga gather together. Oh, God. You're gonna use that spell, aren't you? Uh, which one are you talking about? The wave? The wave. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh... Okay. Um, I'm going to create water, but I'm going to do it where it is a rain, it falls as rain in a 30 foot cube within range. Okay. I love wasting one of my spell slots for that. Dude, dude, I am not going to be able to groom myself. Alright, so, um, as so you. You, as you huddle together, um, Dimitri casts a spell into the sky, and you see rain clouds form above you, and a gentle rain comes down, washing all of the blood, all of the blood, soot, and grime off of you guys. But now you guys are also drenched in the middle of a desert. Um, what? The water evaporates as soon as it hits the ground, and gets absorbed, and is no more. Once the stomach gunk is all off of me, I start grooming and preening myself. Okay. Also, did your character have a phobia of water on themselves? No! Okay. Tigers like water. Cut it. I didn't know. I know cats don't, so... Oh, no, tigers absolutely love... Uh, I believe it's tigers and panthers will go out of their way to play in, like, lakes and rivers and shit. Got Panthers, it. no. Tigers, yes. Lions, sometimes. My character loves so water. I know there's like cats that absolutely love fucking water, and tigers want. 
Oh, absolutely. Okay, got I it. Love water. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know. I right. think- if you guys haven't noticed, my character loves water. <laughs> First time you met Alex, she jumped in a river. Touche. All right, so you guys, so Alex has preened himself. Lana has dumped a whole bunch of water on you. Um, and now you guys are in the middle of the desert. That fucking trail go. I hope we're not too far off track with this fucker gesture at the dead body. For what's left of the dead body. Yeah. I and would like to, uh... Rain. You guys can rain him all you want. I'm not touching him. I may be a thief, but I have standards. <laughs> and I do a perception check to see if I can find the trail we were following. Yeah. Uh, that would actually be a survival check. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and can I see if there's like an oasis or a good place to maybe, I don't know. Or... No, we already checked for an oasis. It's a ways off. Baron did, but he didn't. Uh, um, you cannot find the trail. You fly up and you look. Actually, wait, you have an advantage on this. So give me a second. Yeah, you still can't find the trail. Fuck! Um, uh, Lana, roll a survival check. Uh, nat, nat, it's not a nat 20, it's just a 20. Okay, yeah, uh, you do see uh, an oasis off in the distance. It seems to be about several miles away from you. Yeah, they are kind of lost, see, Jeffrey? <laughs> I think we should go in that direction and I point in the direction of the oasis. Well, I can't find the trail, so wherever, I guess. Full send. So you guys head towards the oasis. Um, as you get close to the oasis, everyone roll a perception check for me. Oh gosh. Is that a nat one? God damn it, Mel! Stop rolling bad for me! No, that was Lana who rolled a nat one. That was the what? That was me. Lana who rolled nat one, Dimitri. Oh, okay. Um, you rolled a what? 14. Okay. So, Alex and Baron. Uh, as you look out, you seem to see some signs of life in the oasis. Um, there also seems to be several camels tied up, and you see a um, person balancing a jug of water that they seem to have just pulled up from the well. I want to, for like, um... Also, Lana, you... Now, completely have lost where the oasis is. You don't know where. You just see desert. The a mirage has formed over your vision, where you can only see desert, and you have lost the village. I wanna. Is there like a thing I can do to like? I don't. I don't know if I have like a spell or anything that can like determine if they're good people or not. Um, uh, you can use a perception or actually an insight on them. Can I do that? Yeah. Uh, they, they don't seem hostile. Okay. So do you guys head toward them, or...? Let's head, if they don't seem hostile, let's head toward them. Okay. We need a place to rest. Like, we don't really have a choice. Baron? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go with 
Okay. Uh, Alana, you, you, you question where they're going because you, you think that the Oasis was a mirage that you saw now. Oh. Yeah, you think the Oasis was a mirage because as you got closer, it just disappeared. Are you going to tell them or are you just going to follow? I'll just follow them. Okay. So, as you guys get closer, um, you... You come up behind the gap, behind, it looks like it's a woman. Um, she's just kind of humming to herself. Um, it seems to be in a strange tongue, though. Uh, can I do, I want to cast proper hand languages. Okay, let me look at that again. Do I see this woman now? Um, yeah, you're right on top of them. You can see them. Okay, that is going to use one of your spell slots for today. Okay. Uh, player's Handbook 224. I just want to make sure I know um, what the limitations of that are, you know? Yeah. Um, does any of our characters know the language? Other? Um, good question. Celestial, common, draconic, elvish, infernal, and sylvan. Common, druidic, elvish, primordial. I don't know what mine is because I can't see my character sheet. I'm almost at work, though. Um, who said Alvish? I did. Uh, both of us did. Okay. Um. Do I know Alvish? You do not. But with comprehend the languages, I can understand her at least. Yes, you can't speak to her, but you can understand her. Uh, she's singing a she's singing a song to herself. Um, oh, he can't understand me. Okay. Um, she seems oblivious to your guys' presence as you come up to her. Um, what is the song that she is humming? Um, it seems to be a local folklore. And what is the folklore of the song that she's? Um, she's singing about um. Uh, it seems about how the creation of the desert and how it used to be a living place and all of a sudden it disappeared and dried up and now, you know, uh, another god decided that they were going to be oasises for weary travelers and he had dude into the desert some travel some travelers safe havens and the song gives thanks to him as far as um creating these oasis. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, are any of us bleeding? Because that must be a fucking tight. Um, no. You've been traveling for over an hour, so everything has clotted. You also washed everything with the rain, so... I'd have to say that you guys are pretty clean. Maybe a little dirty from walking in the desert after being drenched. But otherwise clean, not really much blood to think of. You know what I mean? Um, are any of you going to say anything to her? I can't. Um, um, I'm just going to um, say hello and ask her um, where are, what, what's the name of the town that we're in. Is. Okay. It's in a witch. Oh, the witch is, like, where are we? Okay. She turns around and goes, oh, you know Elvish? Yes, I do. I'll say hello. Oh, my. Um. Uh, hello, you and you, uh, and strange shredded figure. Um, I don't understand you. I don't speak it, but I understand you. She goes. I have no idea what that creature is saying, but can you hmm. translate somebody, please? I guess I will. I'll translate for for Alex reluctantly. <laughs> All right, and, and she goes. Uh, well, 
you are in the Oasis of Shad. Um, I am Shad. Oh. Are you a god? No, not a god. My name is Shad. Hello, Shad. <laughs> um. I know, it must sound very confusing. Oh, wait. It must sound confusing to her because she said something very similar. But does it sound similar in our tongues? Is it similar? Is it similar to the word "God" in her tongue? Uh, somewhat. Her leave called in, so I got called in early. I don't know how to answer that question. Well, I just said, I, I somewhat. I guess I don't know. Okay. Yeah. No. It, it, it's my name's Shad. Um, it means um. It means bringer of hope. What can I do for I you guys? We just had a huge. Have you seen a um dark mark in the earth? I'm I'm just gonna ignore that and just be like um, just we're trying to pass through this desert and are you lost? Got lost. Are you? You're gonna freaking ignore? Me? No, she. Thing. Well, I'm speaking in Elvish, so you can't really understand what I'm saying. Yes, uh, I she guess. has comprehend languages. She can hear, she can understand everything that you're saying. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> you upside the head. She she looks she looks at Lada and goes, "Oh my! Without a guide, you'll be lost in here for ages." What? Pray tell brings you to the desert in the first place. I I tell Lana to fucking ask her. Um, we um were tracking. Have you seen like this? What what were you? What was it like? Black mark in the ground. Black mark in the ground. I can't say I have. I've been here for nigh on forty years. Not many travelers pass through, but the ones that do are very welcome to stay. Yeah, we, um, the, the hooded figure out to uh, my left was wanting to know. She looks at, she looks at, she looks at Alex and goes, I'm so sorry, dear, but I only travel about a very close distance away from the oasis. I am afraid my sense of direction is not very good, and I get lost if I travel too far. Do you know how we can get out of this desert? She looks at you and she says, My father may be of some assistance. Because we could use some help. We're tracking some... I already... Preacher. She she gestures towards one of the buildings and goes, follow me. Um, she hums a song as she comes in and goes, Father, we have some travelers here. He looks up and goes, travelers? And they understand Elvish. I, I hear, why, yes, men. This is what I get for only teaching my daughter Elvish and having people come who, who understand Elvish. No one understands Elvish. He looks and goes. I, I say, I say, I'm primordial. Well, no one understands primordial. Hello. Um. Hi. Okay. He looks at you. Hmm. That's a tongue I haven't heard before. Hmm. Um. Well, you guys are welcome here. Please. Um. I apologize about that. Um, I have tried to protect my daughter, but oh, and he's speaking in common, by the way. Now, um, okay. I've tried to protect my daughter by only teaching her Elvish. It keeps her from traveling on with the people and getting ideas in her head. Sir, I have a question for you. <clears throat> have yes. you seen a black on the earth anywhere? A burned mark on the earth. I can't say I have. I have I have been bound to this hut for quite some time. 
Uh, as you look, uh, it looks like his legs are very shriveled. Um, it looks like at some point, um, it looks like he hasn't used them in his entire life, honestly. Because it says, I was born here. And, honestly, I haven't been able to go anywhere since my wife died a couple years ago, and she was the one that brought us here. She has died since, bless her heart. Is anybody else going to say something about it? Can Alex keep talking? I was going to say, I was thinking, should we maybe give one another potion on him to help it heal his leg? Before we do, sir, have you of uh, um griffins and their feathers? That's it, you guys. I have heard rumors of griffins. How some people say they exist. Some people say it's a myth. Their feathers, although are rumored, have rumored to go for very expensive prices, and they seem to create excellent potions. But that's all something I've heard as far as hearsay. Never actually seen a feather, nor seen a griffin, for that matter. So, Alex makes an executive decision here. She feels like she can... First, let me do a perception check to see if she can feel like can trust these people. Alright, roll perception. Let me get my dice. I literally just arrived at work. Okay. <laughs> Got called in early during my D&D session. I rolled a nat 20. Okay, nothing happened? No. Yeah, I rolled a nat 20. Okay. Um, they're definitely very friendly. Um, it doesn't look like they're gonna harm you. But there definitely seems to be some type of motivation behind everything that they're doing. Something almost doesn't seem right here. Okay. Um, I nod to Baron, who or whoever has the potion, to take out the potion vial. Okay. Baron? I'm going to take out one potion vial. He looks at and goes, oh my, look at that shine on that potion. Now, don't use too much of it. We've already seen what that can do, and it's not too thrilling. But I'm hoping it might be able to help you. He looks at you in curiosity and goes, why should I trust you? And What does that potion do? It's a it great a, a it's a healing healing potion. potion. He looks at you guys and goes, well, not like it's going to hurt, but honestly, my legs haven't worked since I was four. He, he goes, well, not like I have anything to lose. He looks at you guys and goes, well, I guess I could try it, just to humor you guys. Don't hold much help, though. Um, we saw a sausage back to life, dude. He looks at you kind of incredulously and goes, a sausage, you say? Okay, now that's unbelievable. Unless you have a high-level arcane magic, that's almost out of the realm of possibilities. Well, you don't know. Not, let's see what it'll do. He goes, all right, let's see. Hi, hello. You can pick Baron. Hi. Um, so he goes, and he goes, and he's like, all right, say to be careful. How much of the bottle should I drink, should you say? Maybe try a quarter at first, and then maybe, then after that, maybe, mm. um, maybe well, a little half. An entire bottle brought the sausage back, turned it into, I don't even know what to call it at that point. But... There's Let's use about a quarter at first, and if that doesn't work, drink half. 
see how that goes. All right. So uh, he drinks about a quarter of the potion. It seems like um, he, he's like, hi, well, there's definitely something going on. Oh, oh my. You, you see his face grimace in pain. His legs don't look any different to you. Doesn't seem to be any reconstruction. Although it looks like he could like, although it looks, he goes, oh, the pins and the needles. Oh, it's like my arm went to sleep on me. I'm going to open up my other bottle and pour it on his legs. You only drank a quarter of it. You're going to pour an entire bottle oh. on his legs. No, I I'm going to ask him, hey, now that we got the first dose in, can I use half of what's remaining as a topical for your legs? He looks at you and goes, I have feeling in my legs now. This is going to feel really weird. Because, well, but, sure, why not? Nothing to lose. All right. I'm going to grab the bottle and pour half of what's remaining on his legs. Okay. Hi, hello. Hello. All right. Um, next thing you know, you see, um, he, he, he goes, he goes, oh, my, I have feeling. Wait. You see his little toes start to move. He goes, "Wait, did I just move those?" <laughs> I believe so. He, he flexes his legs underneath him, and he goes, "I can move my legs again. This is awesome." But it definitely takes an incredible effort to move his legs, though, since the muscles have definitely severely atrophied into almost nothing. So I can move my legs again. Mm. This is awesome. Anyway. Thank you, adventurers. It goes, it looks like it goes, do you mind if I drink the rest of the bottle? Be my guest. So he goes, he downs the rest of it. Um, as he does, his legs seem to swell a bit as the muscles regain their um, composure of a healthy, normal adult. Um, he goes and he tries to stand on them. And he stands successfully. Um, he seems to be quite wobbly, though, as he tries to get his footing underneath him. Um, a couple of steps into it, his daughter is gleefully exclaiming in Elvish, Oh my! These adventurers have healed my dad! This is amazing! And, for, and they hug and laugh and cry. Seems to be a very touching time as they just kind of sit there and they look at you guys and say thank you thank you thank you ever so much what could we ever do to repay you what are you guys hiding i'm just going to ignore the fact that you asked that we're trying to figure out how to get out of this desert they look at you and go well only a god experienced guy can get you out of this desert which direction were you headed we were following a scorch mark on the freaking earth before a giant chased us. There's some dark magic that's been all over the kingdom. And uh, it's been leaving this dark fire ma like magic all across the ground where something has traveled. And we were following that and we followed it all the way here. You mean the fire that does not burn but only makes things black? Yes. Yeah, I've heard several travelers coming from the okay. east talk about that. Don't open until later this month. If you travel due east of here, you should run into one of those marks eventually. But I don't know. That's like looking for a grain of sand in the desert. I don't have any reservations on my list. This is Did you speak with someone at Wyndham Garden? As he looks at you guys, it goes, unfortunately, I haven't been outside of the hut in years, so I can't really tell you exactly where. Um, as far as a guide out of the desert, 
I assist you myself, but I haven't been too well lately, and I don't think I'd be able to support myself for very long with the body that I have at the moment. As he points towards his belly and everything, which he seems to have a very rotund figure atop the regular, atop the slender legs that you guys have restored to him. Um, he goes and looks at you guys, but I can bestow upon you a compass so that you guys can travel in a singular direction that should get you out of the desert. Why are you just randomly clicking all of our names? Um, I was going to mute you because you're on the phone, but then I realized that if I did that, then I wouldn't hear you when you were off the phone. Yeah, but you were just randomly clicking everybody's names, not just mine. Um, you mean just hovering over them? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. How far until we get out of the desert? If you travel east, you should be out of the desert in two days' time. However, if you are looking for the scorch marks, I can tell you that someone in the east has seen them in a building. Not too far from the capital. Well, what used to be the capital. Hmm. It's... Capital? What capital? What? Where are we headed? Where? What's in the east? Well, it's the capital of Nazarin. You never heard of it? I have memories from before I was ten. So, Baron Lana, you're gonna need to do a knowledge check with uh, disadvantage because this is beyond the known world to you guys. And um, knowledge, as I'm assuming, intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, you have no idea. I got a nine, though. You got a three first time. AKA uh, in that one. The, that is a 14 plus one, 15. You've heard about it in Tales, but you've never actually seen it. It seems it was a mythical city um, full of um, wooden creatures, AKA treants. Um, they seemed to live in harmony. All structures were made out of stone. And nothing was made out of wood. The guy looks at you and goes, yes. That city was burned to the ground about three years ago. Two years after the burn marks appeared. Some say an evil wizard did it. Other people say it was just a lad. Whatever it was. It's, it was bad. And it was definitely devastating. Not many survivors escaped the burn. The ones that did have been scarred for life. I grip my hood. Because the story seems really familiar. Yep, definitely very familiar to you. <laughs> At what time, of the, what time of the day is it for us right now? Um, with all the traveling and stuff that you've been doing, it's around evening time. It's about time to eat. Looks at you guys and oh, goes, I, you look wait, weary. Wait, before, before he says anything, when I grip my hood, I take a deep breath and I say, I can't, and I step out of the tent, the building. He raises his eyebrow at Alex and then goes back and goes, You guys look hungry. Would you guys like a meal and a place to stay before you sit out in the morning? Sure. And he calls to his daughter. Hmm. Allison, can you put the can you make sure that these travelers have the top accommodations in the guest rooms? Of course, Father, she says. My feather has done it again. Now that Alex knows. Mm -hmm. Alex is outside having a panic attack. 
Um, uh, La Lana and Baron, roll perception. Fifteen. Nat twenty. All right. Um, Lana and Baron, you guys notice that her father doesn't call her what she told you. But calls her by a different name. Because he, she introduced it. herself as Saad, and he just said Allison. I'm going to ask um, Saad about that. I'm going to ask Saad about that. Okay. So she goes and she's like, Come follow me. I'll show you your accommodations, and I'll make sure that you guys get a nice hot meal. So she shows, she, she goes outside and she looks at Malak to the hood and she goes, Excuse me, are you okay? Um. Can Alex understand her? Is she speaking, isn't she only speaking in Elvish? She is speaking in Elvish, but she still has uh, comprehend languages on. It hasn't been an hour yet. Okay. I shrug my shoulders. <laughs> She looks and says, understood. However, I do have a place for you that's a little bit more cozy than outside. Probably a bit cooler for you. If you follow me, I can show you to a nice bed. I nod. And she takes all of you to um, a very comfy looking house. It has two, two simple beds in it as well as an area on the floor. This seems like it's been worn and bedded by um, by dozens upon dozens of animals that have slept there before. Uh, I asked ask Saad. She looks at Saad. You look, as you look at Saad and um, she says, yeah, what is it? Um, what was your name again? Saad. Well, it seemed like your father called you Allison when he asked you to help us with the room. Well, that's just my nickname. Don't mind him. Ever since mom died, he's called me a different name to kind of distance himself from all that. Uh, do I buy him? Do I believe that? Um, roll a perception check. 19. Yeah, seems to check out. Of course, you are the first visitors that I've been able to talk to, so I've always been called Allison by them. Although, most of the time it's Allison followed by grunting and pointing. <laughs> wow. Well. Okay, okay, despite the fact Alex is in a panic attack, she bursts out laughing at that. She looks over at Alex and goes, I see that made, I see that helped you break out of your funk, whatever it was. She goes, uh, and she goes, you, we, unfortunately we only have two beds, you don't get too many travelers. Uh, but I can always see about getting some nice palm leaves or anything for a nice third bed or inside where inside that nice little bold area where everybody loves to put their pets. I I literally go over to the area she indicated and curled up like a cat and just yeah. And that works too, she says. Um she looks at you guys and goes, Okay, I will have um dinner prepared in about an hour. I hope you guys find accommodations suiting for you. Yep. So as she leaves, um, her father get, comes past her and goes, "Good job, Allison. Make sure to make sure to feed them the good stuff tonight." Aye, aye, she says. 
as she heads towards the as she heads towards the uh, as she heads towards another building which seems to have some smoke rising from it now. Oh, uh, I roll because he can't see my eyes when he calls her Allison. I roll my eyes. Yeah, no, he can't see your eyes. <laughs> I roll my eyes when he calls her Allison. So, um, he comes in and he sets himself down and goes, so, about that place that I was talking about before. Once you get, if you follow due east of here, and don't waver, you should hit the city. Once you hit the city, if you follow towards the north, you should be able to find the place where the bird mark is. It's in a very small hut that has been exploded. Um, some say the occupants were instantly killed. A small child lived there with his parents. The child was never found. However, both parents were found dead several hundred yards from the building. Bingo! I look over at them. If this is relating back to the last campaign with Brisuki, I'm not going to be happy. I'm just because Rizuki was a little child that killed us all, almost killed us all in the end. <laughs> no, it is, this campaign has no relation to last campaign, by the story. Okay. You like the story? Well, you see, Jeffrey, a lot of it is coming off the top of my head, so. <laughs> like, we do have a general idea. Uh, I do have a general guideline of where everything goes. But a lot of encounters and everything like that have to be made up on the fly due to the um, nature of Dungeons and Dragons and how my players love to derail everything that I have planned. <laughs> evil laugh, evil laugh. <laughs> Not saying that's a bad thing. <laughs> Because honestly, I love being able to do to create a world for you guys. But yeah, so um, yeah, no, I and by the way, Alex said that out loud when he said about the child. Alex said bingo and looked over at her companions. He looked over at you guys. He goes, "Did you happen to know something about what what went on?" Maybe. We're not exactly fully 100% sure. We're just on a quest. Alright. No worries there. Just be careful. Who knows what happened in that hut. Some people say there's some strange happenings around there. Like the dead being brought back to life. Trees that move. Although, knowing that there's treants in the area, so <laughs> uh, that's just a, that's just something to talk to help the young treants probably get scared so they don't wander away and get lost in the forest. We encountered a treant. A treant? In these yep. parts? Yep. It was, it was, um, by the, it was towards the swamp. I have never I, heard of a tree into that swamp before. It just started talking. It just started talking. Treants can talk from birth. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You say this treant just started talking. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? Fertilizer. Fertilizer. His eyebrows just kind of talk like such an odd request from a treant when it can just go wherever it wants. No, it's stuck in the ground. <laughs> Treants can bury themselves with their roots. Getting in and out of the ground is no problem. It's like water to them. Yeah, I don't think this one knows that it could talk or that it can do that. Curious. Very curious. 
So there isn't a direction of swamp. That swamp is like a day's journey from here. Yep, that's where we're from. Sort of. I'm from Pat. We're all from past the swamp, but we're from that area. The the guy furrows his brow and just kind of has this deep look of consternation, worry, and just puzzlement about his face as he thinks about it. The swamp. Yeah, let me turn on my camera so you guys can see me, because I have it on stream, but you can't see it. And I'm making all of these expressive emotions, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to describe it to you. <laughs> oh, I see. You're in the top left right-hand corner of my screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... How do I flip it? Fuck. Um, Fuck! Flip the camera! Fuck! No! Oh, I got tap. it, I got it. Okay, got okay. It. I got it. Okay, so, um, he, he just has this look of concern, consternation on his face. He goes, and he goes, hmm, was this tree like a normal tree? I'm just... No, it looked like a tree that just started talking. Well, they all look like trees that just start talking, especially oh, with a like deep tree. It was a peach tree. A uh, peach tree? Yes. Never heard of a tree bearing fruit. Get, look at my dice tower. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He, he, he just looks at you guys and goes, A tree that can't walk. A tree that just starts talking. It bears fruit. You didn't even ask if they were right. We didn't. We didn't even ask. We didn't take any. We didn't anything. How? We don't have pieces. What is this? <laughs> I do have a twin, see, Jeffrey. You know what? Let me hide my twin here real quick. There we go. Maybe? No, I don't think it's hidden quite yet. Ah! Okay, it's definitely hidden like that. That's not what I was intending. There we go. Now it's hidden. Okay. So. He goes, he goes, well. That's enough for one day. Evidently it is. As long as he doesn't come over here, we should be safe. Alright, um. He's still stuck in the ground, so. I don't know for how much longer, but. He has a tree think... after all. Knows Baron how much longer? Huh? Baron knows how much longer is he stuck in the ground for? With what? How much longer is the tree stuck in the ground? I'm gonna have to run a history check on that because I don't remember off the top of my head. I thought you said like five years. I'm not sure. Um, uh, that peach tree was planted ten years before you got there. Um, uh, the Wait, thing that I got a dirty twenty. Okay, so um, you know that treants should be able to um start leaving the ground they're in. Boom. Sec. Um. Uh, 
Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Uh. Oh my god, that was great! <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> it was just a great way to end it with a nice belch. Um, you know that um, treants don't exactly move that much, only really when threatened, and it could take generations for a treant to come to life. Um, the fact that the treant came to life in that area so soon, um, uh, seems to be a cause for concern. Oh, shit! Because most treants come from trees that have been steeping in magic for quite a long time. I'm going to tell the, uh, old man this. She goes, like, exactly that. So how concern. did it, how did it do that in ten years? That is a question we both want to know. Only a very powerful Ooh. magical force could have waken the treant up like that before Earth ready. I'm going to tell him about the necromancer. As he listens to the story, his eyes widen. And he looks at you like, hmm. Do you think that his magic power would be something that would be enough to awaken a treant, even from the grave? He escaped. The realm's death. Who knows what he's capable of? Fair point. Part of me doesn't want to find out. Let's see, guys. Yes, exactly. So, um, he goes and says, be careful, for if this force is as deadly as you say, it makes sense as to why the capital fell. The treants aren't very kind to the people who destroyed them, their force, or anything in between. The yeah. treants have fallen. And who knows what else awaits you. Uh, Alex speaks up out of the blue after being quiet for a while. You, you really think that the trans are the only kingdom that's fallen to this creature? He looks at you and goes, Do you have news of other kingdoms falling from this creature? What's the name of the um town that she's from? Capital she's from? Look again. Ah, not helpful, Mel. What? It's it. It, it it's in the from the DM group. Oh, fucking know. I'm gonna fuck pay attention to this shit. Um, uh, Agris Keep. I I say I say that to him, Agris Keep. He looks at you, goes. Agris Keep. Do you mean the... And he goes, no. no. It's just a fable. A legend. It's not a legend. It's not anymore. I've never seen a griffin that that's the whole kingdom of them. Okay. Alex is gonna be impulsive and she takes off her hood. Like her entire hood. Mm -hmm. Impulsiveness. Alex and her impulsiveness could be the death of her. He looks at Alex. Uh, uh, what gender is Alex at the moment? Female. 
he looks out, sees her, and next thing you know, he's on the ground. Well, that was as he falls to the ground, um, it's here. Saad walk. Saad comes in. Okay, oh, I have sir, and she drops the hot food on the ground and runs oh. to her dad, who's basically lying on the ground. It looks like he may be dead. She... Oh my god, you just killed someone just by looking at them. <laughs> she yeah. and he comes through the looks at her and goes, What happened? She goes, Oh, you're alive. He's like, Of course I'm alive. <clears throat> it take a lot more than just fainting for a, a little fall to make me not alive. She looks she's like Bed, and she looks over, looks over at Alex and goes, wait, is that a griffin? <laughs> and she looks back at her father and goes, is that a griffin? And he goes, evidently it shocked me so bad I... I I don't remember what happened next. Next thing I know, I was on the ground. It's a fainted, not the shock. I'm just saying, it's not a fable. Because you from the kingdom? I guess. I don't, I mean, my memories are not the best. But a priest helped me remember a little bit, and I am. I'm not going to tell you what part of the kingdom, because I feel like you're shock more. He goes, fair point. Yeah, so... The At this... Boom! <laughs> Do you point at the food? Okay, so at this point, an hour has elapsed. You can't understand the daughter, okay? Oh no, the, oh. the plates, they're broken. <laughs> so as she looks around, she goes, Why, your food? I am so, so sorry about that. And she's like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get started on something right away for you guys. I am so sorry about this. As she scoops the food up and goes to and says, I'll just go feed it to the animals. And I'm like, what'd she say? I don't understand her anymore. She says, you're a terrible person and I burn it. <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> oh my god. Watch me get a nat 20. <laughs> Alex, oh, gonna... roll a perception check. Now I, got 20. A, I got a 13. No. You could tell he's not telling the truth about this at all. But I say it, but I say it jokingly. Look. Yeah, I see that. You fucking nat 20. Why don't you try translating correctly to me before I smack you? <laughs> Is that a threat or a promise? The, oh the, the, the father looks at you and goes, but I translate for you. <laughs> she said that she would be more than happy to bring more plates for you guys. And that she is so sorry about her dropping the food that was intended for you guys. It's okay. I just did not have a lot of food growing up. So... He looks at you and goes, don't worry. There's plenty of food to spare. Also... Here. Okay. Um, hmm. Give me a moment. And he leaves. And he just stands up and he leaves. I think I broke him, guys. Yeah, I think you did break him. That was amazing. I should listen to my impulse more, even though everything in me is screaming because I just revealed myself to more people. <laughs> the magic is screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
sounds almost hysterical. R roll a constitution check, by the way. <laughs> that what? You immediately go into another panic attack. <laughs> oh shit, no! You go from a nap 20 to a nap 1. <laughs> Guys, either love you or absolutely abhor you. Well, I am rolling on a different surface. Yeah, but we've seen your dice. Your dice either roll extremely high or extremely low. Oh, this is the, the these dice, these particular dice, are brand new. <laughs> so panic attack. Um, I'm on the back, running back and forth. Take two psychic damage. Fuck! How much? Just two. How much did I take earlier when I was driving? Um... I think you said three? Yeah, three. So, five. Okay, so, um... I'm rocking back and forth on the ground, mumbling to myself, like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> an hour... Why we... What? That's why we stream this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so about an hour later, uh, she comes back in, she's like, and, and, and she places three plates in front of you guys. The meals look exquisite. The smells absolutely amazing. Um, Alex, can I just what? What, what? Am I okay at this point? Yes, it kind of sleeps you out of it when you see the food. Okay. Um, can I roll to make sure there's nothing like wrong with food? No poison? No nothing? Little perception check. Um, fourteen plus two, sixteen. Okay, um... There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the food. Wait, I start mm -hmm. eating. So does Sock. Okay, um... The flame broils half of my fucking food! Yep, Lana and Denise. Oh, I start eating it, too. Okay. And oh, I just say, this is delicious. It's she. She looks at you and says, "Why, well, thank you. That's the first compliment I've received in years." Flame broiling half my food. Well, like, I uh, literally, like, well, I literally. Yeah, it, it it is one of those things where um, it is meat. Half of it is meat and veggies and stuff like that. So flame broil probably tasted pretty good, anyways. No, 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 what I'm saying is Socks is sitting, like, she's just, like, Alex is like, she's eating my fucking food. Like, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, Jeffrey, my twin's hiding behind the photo, right? He, this right here. So, um, as you guys finish the food, uh, the father comes in and goes, so I have meditated on it. To see if you're a good omen or bad. <laughs> bad. I have to say, you can stay the night. But not hither after that. For, in the wake of a griffin coming to the Fairland, it seems that only death and tragedy follow. Yeah! I put my hood back on, not that it does anything. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And he looks at you guys and goes, I believe in your quest. That said, another panic attack. Huh? Alex doesn't want to hear that wake and death and tragedy is going to follow her, so guess what? She's in again. <laughs> he looks at you guys and goes, 
You must like, break I don't, the curse. Like, I don't think he realizes he's telling this to a child. Like, she's a child. Not really. Not really. He's like, what if you could probably tell him that Alex is a child? <laughs> because he says, you must break the curse on this and bring glory to your nation. For once it rises again, you shall bring luck to all the nations that encounter you. Alex literally does this and goes, you're telling this to a fucking child. Lexi goes, oh, well, there's something you need to hear, whether a child or adult. You are in this you together. You're chosen you chosen to... Oh, well, you do realize that griffins age like elves. He looks at you and goes, well, understood. You've got a lot of knowledge underneath you. You look like you have seen worse. I'm only 26. You've seen much of the world. <laughs> You're in the past place, yeah. <laughs> I have seen- I see the hardship in your eyes. That is yeah. God, it's an Alex-centric episode again. <laughs> I'm not- but I swear! Uh, well, it's an Alex-centric for a while. I swear I'm not trying to make this about me, you two. You can <laughs> jump in and tell him it. He looks at you- he looks at the other two and oh, goes- Princess's main character time. God, I'm not the main character! He looks at Lana and Barrett and goes, Beware traveling with her. For she may be an omen of good luck, but she also brings with her destruction and death. I mean, the town did burn, but that wasn't my fault. That was the twins. And when you went to the other town, those books decided to explode and catch the town hall on fire. Fuck. But you did heal those three people. And bring a sausage to life. Exactly. And put, on a, sword. Very, and, uh, and put on a very, very beautiful performance. <laughs> you guys are your performances. <laughs> I've been in that area for most of my life so far and nothing happened. It's too showed up. Yeah, it's their fault, not mine. I blame them. Uh. Then he looks at you guys and goes, I see a prophecy in your future. You do great things. There's also great peril. And almost, even, almost certainly, death. At least one of you. Wait. Where you see the end of this journey. Great. <laughs> and, he go, and he goes, good luck. You lead me oh, to- sure. One of you's gonna die. Good luck. <laughs> Alex, May the what? odds ever be in your favor. Hey, let's see, he goes. Remember, these are only predictions. This is not a prophecy. You may be able to avoid this fate. Just choose wisely. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my corner now. <laughs> <laughs> and he leaves. And he says, I will let you, I will retire to my corners for the evening. Make sure to be gone on my first flight if you want to make it to where, to the capital, to the burned down capital, by the evening of the second day. This is, can I heal now? Yes. Uh, are you guys gonna, are you guys going to post watch or do you feel secure enough inside the house? Feel secure. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna watch just in case. 
Now, should I do a roll to see if I have any nightmares? Sure. Um, I'll do the roll for you. Yeah. High or low? I bring a, a lot. Okay. Um. So as you sleep, you dream of nice food and um, warm bedding all night long. No nightmares. Nothing of my past. Um. Well, good food and warm bedding. Yeah. That's about it. Hmm. Okay, you guys wake up the next morning feeling very refreshed. Um, everything is healed, and your wounds are nice and healing up properly. Nothing seems to be broken or injured and, or sore. Remarkably. Even me, who slept on the floor? You are sleeping on a bed that had been softened and churned by over 20 different animals. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> or feathers and stuff all strewn around there that helped make it a nice soft spot on the floor. It wasn't exactly like hard ground, if you know what I mean. So, um... And you guys wake up, you hear um the you hear Saad outside humming that same tune to herself that you heard the very first time you saw her the other day. Can I hum along with her? You could definitely try roll a performance check. Are you doing it softly under your breath, or are you doing it loud enough for her to hear? Loud enough for her to hear. 14. Okay. Um, she comes in and goes, not bad, not bad. Seems you need a little practice, though. The tune is, is you're just singing it slightly off-key. I don't really, not really too familiar with it. No worries. I could teach it to you if, I, if you'd like, but I'm afraid you don't have enough time for that. Maybe after you save the kingdoms? Of course. She goes, you, know, you think that will do it? <laughs> <laughs> Child. Uh, she looks at you guys and goes, oh, hold on. She goes outside and she brings in three warm glasses of milk. What is why why are we at warm milk? What? You're in the middle of a desert here. And she just milked it. Fresh milk. Straight from our cow. Enjoy. <laughs> Well, I Thank drink you much. Okay, Alex? I'm going to check to make sure it's good before I drink it. Alright, roll for stuff to check. Fuck. It's a natural one. All seems good to you. Although, when you're trying to check it, you're, you, you try to look at the bottom of the glass, but in doing so, you tip the glass over, spilling all of the milk all over your bed. Fantastic. Mm. She has already left the building when you do it, so it's not like she could get you any more milk. Yeah, I know. She just she just spilled her milk. See Jeffrey. Oh, I think Jeffrey's sad for you. Fucking. Fuck everything. <laughs> dice need to go to the dice jail. Yeah. So, you guys 
um, start to head out towards the east. We yep. should make sure all of our supplies are good and then head out towards the east. All right. Well, well, everyone roll a survival check. If you're checking your supplies. Uh, 21. Oh. Not natural. Uh, 19. Okay. Add the survival, I'll add it on to it. Okay, Dimitri, Steve Jeffries has to ask for more melt. Alex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a 14. Okay. Um, it seems your it seems your equipment is adequate to make it for the next two days. The only thing that you really need is more water. Let's do this, I guess. Um, let, I'm gonna get some more water. I get some more water too. Okay, you guys fill your flask, um, to the brim with the water, and as you do so, she looks over at Lana and goes, "Just so you know." According to my father, there is a village a day's journey away from here for you to sleep at. You should be able to refill your water there as well, if you're worried about that. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yes, okay. So as you guys set out, um, roll a survival check. Whoever is in the front leading, which would probably well, be Alex. Just rolled a 19. All right, so you guys are definitely on track. Uh, Alex has a great sense of direction, especially since she's part bird. She has an internal compass. So you guys are able to follow her um, fairly accurately. Dance, 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 dancing. <laughs> Lower high. Somebody else pick. I'm not. Oh. Hi. All right. So for the first half of the day, it seems like everything is perfectly fine. Nothing seems to happen. You guys have smooth travels and smooth sailing. Um. However, for the second half of the day. Oh, this is fun. Oh, son of a- what did you just fucking do, Mel? Swear to God. Swear to God. Everyone roll perception, please. Son of a fucking bitch. Um... 18. Oh, not one. <laughs> oh. Uh, I got a 21. So, uh, Baron and Alex, as you guys are traveling across the desert, um, and as you're going across the desert, it looks like you see a centaur, um, on the ground just kind of just sitting there doesn't seem to be moving too much just, just kind of chilling on the ground is it a good centaur or is it a bad centaur it's a good question it seems to be about 200 feet in front of you i'm gonna do a perception to see if i can figure it out hostile uh, all right no perception 19 um, 19. Okay, is that with your modifiers? Yeah, because it's a se I got a 17. Okay. Um, something seems off about this centaur. Almost unnatural. Like, it doesn't move like a centaur. The body proportions seem to be a little bit out of shape. I tell the, the group this. Um... Would a centaur count, like, with animal handling? Can I check and see, like, where he talked about it? Uh, with animal? 
I don't know. That'd be a survival check. Okay. No, I'll be a survival. You're not. No. I got a 15. Um, it seems like the body is too short and squat. Um, the tail seems to be a bit longer than usual. Um, it, found it. And, it, and it seems like the the proportions of the um of the human portion are just a bit too skinny. Let's 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 go, guys. I don't I don't want to fuck with this. Um. Um. I, I, can I, can I, do I all sense if it's, like, good or, or if it has, like, any good or bad intention? Uh, roll perception. I already did that, but okay. Just want to make sure. Um, undetermined. It definitely seems something off about it, but you can't figure, you can't quite put your finger on it. Um, I start to slowly approach it. Oh my god, you're an idiot. I don't care, I am an idiot. You're a fucking idiot, I stay back. Okay, as you approach... I'm going to ready my bow. Uh, I, the figure I'm looks sick. at you and says... Just needs some water. It's hissing like a snake! Um, More importantly, it's a creature, and yet it's talking like we do. I mean, centaurs are half human. Do they speak common? Yes, but why would it talk like a snake? Exactly. Exactly! I don't think it's a centaur, I think it's a snake creature. Um... Um... How far away is the centaur from us? Um... Since or you guys how are, far away is... Since well, you guys are approaching me. it, it looks like it's about 30 feet away now. Okay, um... With some water, I get a little bit of water out of my... Because if you... A Okay, I use shape water and move a little bit of the water from my um, from my canteen towards them. <coughs> um, she bows her head into the water, slurps up and goes, "Thank you. That's so refreshing." The fucking snake person. Fucking snake person. As she looks at you guys, she says, Wow. I seem to be a bit lost. May I join you in your travels? Where are you headed? That is a question I ask myself. I find myself, in a way, lost. The fucking snake person! Thank you, Charge. I saw them. They look so cute. Fucking snake person. Uh, I'm calling it. I'm fucking calling it. And this is the whitest fucking in the ass. Can I see if she's lying? Uh, get my roll perception check. Eleven. Um. Well, there is some truth to her words, but something is beyond as far as her motive that you know isn't quite right. I'm gonna do a freaking. I'm gonna do the same thing to see if I can get higher. Okay. <laughs> that twenty. <laughs> I 
Oh, she's definitely hiding something. Uh, you're, you're not sure exactly what, but she definitely has some other intentions that she wants to do. Um, I like better. I sense that they're good. She's definitely wandering, but she seems almost like she's lying in wait for something or someone to come along. Almost like you guys are victims. Yeah, um, I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm flying, I'm gonna fly up higher so she can't reach me. Okay. Nope. 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 God damn, Mel, all those notifications. <laughs> what notifications? In your fucking Discord! Oh, uh, they just all popped up at once, or? There was a, no. uh, there was a oh. spammer in there earlier that Indo took care of. So, yeah, I was, I was, I was wondering about that earlier. Yeah, um, so Alex is flying up above. Um, Lana, uh, do you approach her more? Do you, are you, are we going to let her travel with us? What's going on? I hope I have a really bad feeling about this, Baron. Sorry, that's what? what I feel like. That's exactly what I feel like. <laughs> um, I'm getting the feeling like it's going to be a trap. Yeah, I think it's a trap. That note is exactly how I feel. She, she looks at you guys and goes, Mom, I'm going to be a trap. I'm just a traveler like you. Just lost Good in the desert. Point. Needing some water. Look. Well, tell us what you really are, because you're not a centaur. She looks at you and goes, Do you doubt my appearance? I mean, this is coming from the talking hood, so appearance is my thing, lady. She looks at you and goes, Of course it is. I also sense the child lays beyond that hood. I'm 26! <laughs> so she says, So, what frightens you in your dreams, child? I am not a- This is the one time Alex is gonna deny it legitimately. I'm not a child! I am 26! Okay. That's her response is I'm 26. I'm not a child. Guys, let's just go to the. Let's just go, please. Is anybody um, gonna? I'm not trying to be the main character here. Um, I slowly start to back away from her just because we know that Alex is starting to panic. Alex is panicking. <laughs> really okay. trust Alex's instinct. She's a fucking animal. Okay. Um. She looks at Alex and she um. So maybe this will change your mind. Roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Fuck. Um. What's my wisdom? What is my fucking wisdom? Your wisdom saving throw, which is different from just okay, so with a plus two. Ice, and then I add my wisdom, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, she looks at you and she starts moving her head back and forth. And she just gets a little bit more agitated and more agitated until all of a sudden the form falls away. Fucking snake, um, lady. Fucking snake lady. And you see in the desert um, something that looks almost like a almost like a snake with legs on it. Oh, with a yeah. tail that curls up around itself and the head of a lady that looks almost like they could have come out of Egyptian Egypt with rat with with tatters of cloth coming down over her body and look at you and go oh. since you can't talk Alex goes, I fucking called it. I knew she was a goddamn snake lady. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Um. Are we getting into a fucking fight? I didn't want to go near the fucking creature, but you guys insisted. Okay. Uh, from 30 feet away, I moved I moved water and gave her some water. At least let me have some brownie points with her. Okay. <laughs> I never went closer. I'm about 60-ish feet away. She looks at, um... She seems to have a lot of anger towards me, and this is not going to be good. She looks at, um... Baron. And she says, so... Come here and attend to me. <laughs> Baron, you're gonna need to roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> yeah. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I called it from like the first fucking moment. Hey, stop hugging it! You thought you'd never live to see the day that I do a non PG stream? Hear it? <laughs> called it. I fucking called it. I, I told you guys to not. Yeah, I'm not affiliated with Ravenwood Academy anymore, so. I'm usually PG, but my compatriots aren't. Baron. I you there? Did you, did you fall asleep on us? Barry! Drew. Sorry, what? You're supposed to saving throw, dumbass! Oh, so saving sorry. throw. Wisdom saving throw. Got did you. Did you sleep? No. It's okay, Justin. I wasn't streaming. And you know, I still, I it, I, I'm not affiliated with Ravenwood Academy anymore. Um, doesn't mean I can't get it back in the future. It's more about I was in Stream of Wizard One One, so you know, it's like yeah. I got a seven. <laughs> you got seven. Oh, yep. Okay. So, um, Basically, you now attend to this creature, and you cannot disobey any of its commands. And um, if you oh no, if you do, um, you take five d ten psychic damage each time you try to act in a way counter to the commands that she gives you. I told you guys we should have left the thing alone. Um. Now, of course, your character may not know this, so you may try to fight it once or twice until, you know. You're not going to kill us, right, Mel? She can't issue a suicidal command to you. If she does, the command ends. I mean, the spell ends. Um, a remove curse, greater restoration, or a wish spell could also end it. Do I have a move curse? Not sure. Do you? I fucking know 
because I don't know where to find all my goddamn spells. I'm looking, I'm looking. It's on the last page of your thing. Let's see here. You do not have remove curse. Do I have any that'll fucking help? I don't think so. This is not good. This is not good. This is not fuck good. Sorry, I sorry about me actually having compassion. I told you to leave it alone. <laughs> I just gave it some water. I told you to leave it alone. So what do you want? So Baron, she says, come here and attend to me. Baron? I'd like to take a single step forward. Okay, are you trying to resist or are you trying to obey without she obeying the letter of the command? I mean, obeying just the letter of the command and not the spirit. I figure it used something against me and now it thinks it can command me. I'm going to play into it without playing into it. She looks at you and says, when I say attend to me, I mean be by my side. You should what? be here, one foot away from me at all times. What do you want, snake lady? Baron? I'm going to uh, approach for now. Okay. So you stand about one foot away from her. Nothing seems to happen. Um, you know that there is definitely some force inside of your head that makes you want to obey her commands. Now, she looks at Alex and goes, No. Come here. No! Fuck you! She looks at you and says, Well, you know, it is under my spell. I could, you know, kill him. What do you want? No. Just you. Why me? Oh my god. <laughs> I look at Lana and then Baron like, I don't know what the fuck to do. It's, yeah, I know, stop hogging it. They do, like, they do give me codes and stuff like that when I was affiliate for stuff. That's about all I ever got from them, but honestly, you know, we still do that. It's great, but we don't need them to do giveaways and stuff, you know? But I don't feel any ill will toward them. They're still great, you know? I look at Baron, and I'm like, what the fuck you want me to do, Baron? I just shrugged. God damn, you are not fucking helpful. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I look over at Lana. What what do you need her for? She looks at you. And she says, oh, I just need a child. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> can, I, can I see if I can deceive her? Child? Des uh, deceive her? Yeah, deception. Because I'm vehemently like, saying that I'm six. And also... Uh how does she know that Alex is a child? Yeah. Alex has a cold on. Question. Because I never said I was a child. Mm-hmm. Fucking child. <laughs> Whenever I just hear someone say a child, I just think of the thing from The Office where they're like, a child. Yes! 
<laughs> oh my god. It's, what I think of is even funnier. Give me, give me, give me, give me a second. Let me mute. I make sure Tux's stream it itself is muted, not my thing. Okay. Since Tux's stream itself is muted. No, what I think of is. I mean, I think of that too, but I, I think of. Here we go. Found it. I think of this. Don't get my stream muted, okay? No, that's a TikTok thing. Yeah. 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 It looks like Julia wants to talk to me. Hold on. Well, need to hurry. That's all I can fucking think about. How do you fucking know that I'm a goddamn child? How do you fucking know? How do you fucking know? Okay, so you want to roll a deception check on her? Yeah, I literally just rolled. I, I love how charge is like band tux, band tux, band tux. <laughs> You can't uh, ban me from my own channel. I rolled a 15. My so 20? 15 plus 8. So over 20. So let's see here. 15 plus 8. 23. So 23. Okay. She looks like Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm not a child. Not a child. Shiki goes, then answer me this. If you're not a child, then you must know about what happened to the kingdom 15 years ago. Which kingdom? Only one kingdom fell 15 years ago. Yeah, the, 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 what's, fuck, I can't remember the fucking name. It's Me her either. kingdom. I can't, whatever, she lists off the name of the kingdom. It was attacked by an evil wizard and they fell. She goes, Correct. Not a child! She looks at herself and she goes, I've never been harmed before. I'm a child of six adult bitch. Lying through my teeth, but I'm not a child. She looks at you guys and goes, I can't let you live now, can I? Maybe my mistake. Why are you a child? I Why can't you let you let the others know of my existence here. Wait. Hmm. Why do you need a child? Other than just simply wanting a child. <laughs> well, I since I'm gonna kill you, I guess I can answer. A child's blood is more delicious than an adult's blood. I feast on the village. No! My voice gets really, really high because I'm nervous. Child! I'm sorry, you can't do it because we bathe in blood. <laughs> bathe in blood. I'm sorry, you can't get us to bathe in blood. Wyndham Garden, this is Alex. How may I help you? <laughs> uh. So, chat, what do you think so far? What do you think the monster is? Because I can reveal it. So, um, well, what are they called? Starts with a K. No, not what a K. Is it beyond T? <laughs> nope. Lamia. It's a Lamia. What's a Lamia? Hmm. Lamia from the Dungeons and Dragons description. 
Lamias are hybrids. These resemble animals such as lions, goats, and deer, with a hormone, human torso and head coming up from where the animal's head would usually be. Her body is fully humanoid, however, not bearing any animal, not bearing animal features such as scales, horns, or fur. L okay, Lamias I'm back. are chaotic evil creatures that prefer to dwell in deserts, ruined cities, or caves. They sustain themselves by drinking human blood and eating human breath. To bring prey to them, they use a variety of abilities, including protection, disguise, ritualism, and illusions. Okay, well, Alex's last comment was a high-pitched child. <laughs> you think you have to pee, Charge? Well, go pee. No one's stopping you. Just bring your phone with you into the bathroom if you're that engrossed in the story. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to find that high-pitched voice suspicious, but Alex got really nervous. Yeah, I nope. have an idea that is very, very bad. What? Wait, wait, one moment. What did she? No, she didn't. It, it just passed right over her head. Not a child. You had an idea that was very, very bad, Lam? <laughs> I do. Revealed that Alex is a fucking child? Oh, shit. No. What? Here is my... What if I give you... What? As an I am pregnant her. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> You're gonna enchant? No, I'm pregnant her. Like, kind of... Eat her own fucking child. I meant like I get her pregnant. Or so seduce her. Yes, yeah, seduce her. Before you seduce her, Alex is gonna go. Why did you think I'm a child? The scent of a child is on you, dear. Very <laughs> strongly. <laughs> this is Alex's exact reaction. <laughs> like, I'm freaking out. Alright, Lana, you want to you want to seduce I, her. Yes, I'll roll the seduce. Okay. Okay, um, I'm assuming that's charisma. Or what yes. if, what do I it would be charisma. What? Okay. Is the this creature could still decide to think that Alex is a child and go what? after her. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Happened? Oh no. <laughs> Lower high. Low. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She looks at you, I guess. Really? <laughs> you gotta act it out, Lana. What did you do? Yeah, you're just my type. She goes, I'm sure I'm not your type. But let's play along. Look. If I okay. was your type, Alex what flies would up. you do to me? Oh. It's real what I wouldn't it do. Oh my god, it is taking Alex everything she has. <laughs> not to scream out that she's a fucking child and doesn't want to hear this. <laughs> she's a what? <laughs> Counterintuitive and basically tell this fucking snake lady that she's a child because she doesn't want to hear them talking about sex. <laughs> uh, so, she, so she looks at him and goes, hmm. Intriguing. I don't want to hear this, you guys! I fly up a bit higher. She goes, and so, um, as she does that, she goes, and next thing you know, there's two of her. So, I'll tell you what. If you can deduce which one of us is the real one, then you tell me all about it, my man. 
Oh my god. I do. Can the I roll perception? Yes. Roll perception. The, the entire time he they are talking, Alex is like, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Dirty 20. Okay. I don't want to fucking hear this. Why am I hearing this? Um, give me a second here. Why am I hearing this? Why is this a thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's also taking Alex everything she has not to be like, this is why you don't travel with adults, or <laughs> wanting to say, like, she's hard not to reveal that she's a child. Okay, so, um, you can't tell which one is the, which one is the mirror image. You're gonna, so you have to make a guess. I don't want to hear this. Oh, gosh. What would happen, what happens if I get it wrong? Let me hear this. You're, You're, not not You're gonna scar me, Lana. Double Lana. the trouble. <laughs> Lana, you know, you're gonna scar me for life. Okay, so there's one on the left and one on the right? Yes. Baron, uh, is Baron also deducing which one is which? Um, Baron is smack dad in the middle of them. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't want to see so, this. So, um, something that you do perceive is that Baron was on her right before she did this. The one on the left is the real. She looks and goes, wait, 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 no, okay. So I'm going for, like, say, like, they are, like, here, how do I, here, I'm, I'm just going to draw a shape. So say... No, you got it right. You got it right. Oh, okay. Because I yeah. like I was thinking because I was thinking like that one originally, and then wait, no, the right is right there. If she if he was on her right, then she would be on his left. Yeah. So she looks. He goes. Make a guess. I'm here. Oh, she goes. Hear this. Looks at Baron and goes. She does, she does, wait, like, I don't mean to give the DM ideas, but if she's got Baron under her control, he, she can make him reveal anything about the fucking party. Possibly, yeah. Doesn't mean she will. Alex is really antsy about this. <laughs> She has no reason to make him reveal things about the party, though. Alex is really antsy about this whole thing. So <laughs> she goes and she looks at Lana and goes, follow me. And she starts gliding toward, she starts walking towards a direction in the desert where it seems like there's a little hole in the ground. So um, the thing is, I'm just really into public stuff, so if, if you're okay with doing it, like, out here, it would be a huge, a huge, a huge, a situation check. I don't, I don't need to. Okay, I'm trying not to get my ass killed, okay? <laughs> I, no, this is Alex speaking, that, like, oh, oh I got a 10. I don't know. She actually goes, that might be fun. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want to see this! <laughs> I said that jokingly, too. <laughs> the three, okay? Okay. No, 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 I am serious. Alex is this close from slipping up and saying something like, I am too young to see this. <laughs> so... With luck is over. So as you as you look at her, she looks at you and goes, So let's see. What shall I start with? She starts hurling her tail around Lana and goes, Hmm. Should we start with an introduction? 
Of course. Mm. I don't want to. <laughs> My name is Lacey. And yours? Lana. Nice to meet you, Lana. Now on. <laughs> Lady, I'm gonna be scarred for life, my very long life. <laughs> now. I don't even know if Snake is paying attention to Alex at this point as she's mumbling the, and like saying this crap and getting <laughs> in. Now, let's see. Where do humans keep the reproductive organ again? I'm actually not human, but I'm humanoid. Hmm. Well, where does your kind keep the reproductive organ, then? I point to the two between my legs. Hmm. So as she Dude, goes... The people who can see Alex, her face is bright red, and she is <laughs> freaking out. You know, uh, you give me one moment, and I, just, and I just make a wall of water, blocking Alex's view. <laughs> I cast wall of water. Land and she she looks at it goes. What's that for, dear? I can sense that one of my friends is not really into our problem. Hmm. But it's but child. It's a fucking child. She looks at it goes. Well, at least Baron is here. Right, yeah. Baron. I'm fucking god. Alex, <laughs> the ground. Baron, I'm going would... to stay silent as I was only told to stand one foot away from her. <laughs> so she looks at Baron and goes, Baron, would you kindly remove Lana's pants for me, please? God, this is not happening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Does she have fangs? That's a real question. Um, you can't really see any fangs. It almost looks like she just adopted this way of talking just to be mysterious. Even her tongue is shaped like a human's. Okay. The, the, the Alex is now on the ground trying not to scream and is rocking back and forth. <laughs> and hopefully the I can't hear her, but she is mumbling. I'm just a fucking child. I don't need to see this. I'm gonna go, sorry, buddy, and remove your pants. I'll yeah. pray for you, my guy. And so, as... So, okay, so, Barrett, I, I, it, it, to, for the sake of our uh, Twitch audience, yeah, um, please. because we do Step have ahead. actual... People yeah, who may not be of age. <laughs> yeah, let's maybe skip ahead. Let's let's roll a performance check for you, Lana. Oh my fucking god! At least the snake lady didn't fucking like. Oh, I rolled a ten. Oh god, no. So afterwards, um, afterwards. Alex is now scarred. <laughs> it, you think you're scarred? I'm. I am one foot away from the <laughs> both of them. Well, they're doing that. Okay. You think you're scarred? Alex, I have to watch. You are at least an adult. Alex is a child. I still have to watch. <laughs> I do not think that Alex even perceives to the idea of what the fuck sex is. You, 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 here's the thing, you can always turn your head. You only have to stay one foot away from her. You can always just turn your head and not look at them. So... But no, a fucking child! So, um... Did it was... Snake, did, did, uh, what, was the, what was the snake lady's name again? Lacey. 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 Yeah, sorry, I, I'd forgotten. So at the end of it, you guys are completely frustrated. Um, Lacey could not seem to figure out how to do it. Um, your efforts were a little bit more successful. Um, would, you were able to like actually to find where to put it. Would you like me to take the lead, Lacey? 
I, I'm just describing oh what happened, okay? Okay, okay. Um, let's just say mm -hmm. that, yeah, it, you were able to finally do it, but no thanks in part to Lacey's efforts. Nope. Who almost nope. killed Moon? Nope. Alex is traumatized. At the end of it, she looks at you guys and goes, hmm. I guess I should let you go. Please. That was disappointing at best. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. That was not. And she looks at you and goes, Alex. If you tell anyone where I am, I nope. shall find you. Kill you all. Did they just get away with the fact that she didn't realize Alex was a child despite the fact Alex fucking said she was a child? The wall of water helped. The squishies are hiding. Ah, I see Jeffrey. You know what? I just found them. Here they are. Squishy, 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 squishy. There you go. And so, um, she lets you go. And she looks at Marin and goes, As much as I would love having a servant, I guess I need to return you. And she flicks her hand and goes, You are free. Nope. I don't think Alex realizes that anything's up because she's rocking back and forth and mumbling under her fucking breath, freaking out Trump. And Lacey slithers away. Lacey? I call it her name, but she's starting to go Why? She turns around and goes, yes? If, um, I, if I'm ever passing parts again, um, if you'd like, I can come pay you a visit and see how you're doing. She looks and goes, perhaps. And goes, actually, no. If I ever see you again, I will kill you. And she leaves. Yay. One thing you do notice is that the hole she was going to take you into does not seem to be where she was headed. Mmm. Mmm. See? I knew it wasn't going to be a trap in that hole. Mm. <laughs> you broke, Alex. <laughs> okay. okay. Say to the rest of the group, let us never speak of that again. <laughs> and just walk away. See, if Baron, if, if Baron was smart, he'd, see, he'd be like, with that performance... I don't think we ever will. One second, guys. No. I'm going to look at uh, Lana and go, you know, I've seen bigger. <laughs> I didn't give her that much of my effort. You ain't seen nothing. X to doubt. Guys, guys, Alex is on the phone. If she can figure it out to him. You, there we go. Fuck off. You promised <laughs> Dimitri. Sorry. I don't think Alex knew what the hell sex was. She was raised in a forest. <laughs> so you telling me she never seen squirrels clapping each other's cheeks? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say deer, but yeah. Never seen a rabbit go at it? Come on, no. <laughs> she probably didn't even realize what was going on, though. Okay, so, um, you guys... They're tackling each other. So, you guys avoided a, la a Lamia attack. You know, he really is playing a bard without playing a bard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Fucking seduced a Lamia. He, da he he critically failed it, but evidently she was into it. 
Jesus. <laughs> it was so cringy it actually worked, basically. I know. It's sad. <laughs> so much. What did I come back to? What? Charged. Um, let's see here. Uh, Lada just unsuccessfully seduced the Lamia, but evidently she was into that, and she decided to see where it went. So, yeah, they did it. Very, um... Horribly. Terribly. <laughs> Sorry, what did I miss? My cat was meowing at me. Uh, nothing. Uh, I was just summarizing what happened while Charge was gone. <laughs> yes! You did, I, did Master, um... <laughs> did <Dungeon> Master... <laughs> Wait, what? what did... She said, you can bake this? I want to play! <laughs> Look at my response, Mel. <laughs> We're all adults in real life, so... Yep, wait. We are all adults in real life, but Alex yeah. is a <laughs> Alright, Charged, we'll help you- we'll help you spin up a character for this next session. <laughs> I banged a what? Snake. Oh, because I banged a snake lady. Yep. Alright. So, um, is someone gonna snap Alex out of it? Yeah, you should probably snap Alex out of it. I pull some, I pull a shiny coin out of my back. Alex's head snaps up and she runs over to the coin. Give me that! I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Did you slap him? Yes. You ate all of your cheese. Oh, aw, charge. Alright, so, um, uh, roll your attack. Which would be your dice plus your strength modifier. 17? Okay, you hit. Roll a d6. Okay, hopefully not much. Four. So, um,. She goes at her, and, and she slaps you across the face. Her claws um, graze your cheeks as they rip open a fresh wound on your cheek. Okay, how much damage? You take four damage. Okay. You kind of deserved it. I saved your life, okay? You still kind of deserve it. Charge <laughs> oh. <Shards> said hot. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you would be dead right now. <laughs> he didn't know I was a child. Getting pretty close to. It, it, she wouldn't have gotten pretty fucking close to figuring it out if you hadn't gone and been like, I'm gonna go all sexy like. <laughs> hey, well, I distracted her. You can fuck off. I was doing just fine. I had convinced her I wasn't a child. Uh, so are you guys gonna start heading off, or is Baron just gonna be completely quiet because he's been absolutely traumatized by this experience? I rolled a 19 with that. I don't know what- <laughs> Uh, Andrew? I'm sorry, what am I rolling? Uh, <laughs> are you gonna sleep over there? A little bit, honestly. Okay. Let's turn this down and end it. Yeah, although you do have another basically full day of traveling in the desert. You should probably but make no, camp. They said there was a town in between, remember? You're right. There was an oasis in between. So, as you guys head out, you finally hit the oasis. Um, although it seems this oasis is abandoned. There's no one there. Well, might as well set up camp. Let's roll to make sure it's safe. Sixteen. 
Um, that would be your uh perception roll. So add your perception to it. Uh, perception. I got a twenty 14. for my perception. Dirty That's the sixteen is eighteen. Okay. Um, something definitely happened here, but it seems safe for now. Let's set up camp and do watch. There are a few houses. It seems that some of the doors have been kicked in. Although you do find a house that seems to be mostly intact. Can happen. I'm gonna see what kind of uh, medicinal herbs I can find. I got right. the oasis. Um, no. Seventeen. Um. So there doesn't seem to be many medicinal or herbs in the area, but you do find three. Okay. Uh -huh. Inventory. Running. Anybody else want to do anything? Well, I think we convinced you to charge to join the group, and I just did. Yeah, so, um, I think we can end it here for now, and we'll do the, um, we'll do the rotation of the guard next week for keeping watch. Okay. Yes, Dimitri! <laughs> I don't think any of you are gonna have him be part of the rotation after what happened this week. <laughs> no, no, Dimitri. No, it, does that mean saying are you slut shaming me? Yes. Also, charge just redeems a fart sound effect on my stream. <laughs> uh, all right. So, congratulations, everyone, um, for that excellent role play, Lana. Um, Lana, I'm going to reward you with a level. Oh. So, so okay. He got he got fucked a snake and got a level. Yes. However, uh, Alex. You also gain a level. Baron, you also gain a level. So I so we gotta level me up twice. Yes. Okay, we can do that like let's do that Friday. Mm-hmm. Also, I have a question. Um am mm -hmm. I also going to build a roll for the the thing that I rolled for last week? Yes. Okay. No charge, it was the role play. Ver to get out of a sticky situation versus the actual thing. <laughs> I cannot believe that, like, that just happened. Like, you guys had two encounters today, and you managed to um, defeat both of them. <laughs> what happened if this snake lady figured out that Alex was a child? Um, she... What she was doing is she was trying to use Baron as bait and lure Alex in and then try to um, seduce her into thinking she was her friend and then um, drain her of her blood while she slept. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. She was never actually going to harm Baron or Lana, though. Just using them as bait. God damn it. Until... Damn it. Until she realized that Alex was... Because she could make Baron and Lana just basically forget everything that ever happened and have them leave in the desert, you know? I... That whole thing just absolutely killed me. <laughs> killed you as in your character or killed you as in you as far as what just happened? Both. 
Why do we always? Have to do I had to do what I had to do to protect you. <laughs> Why does there always seem to be some kind of weird, wacky, crazy thing that happens every session? I know it is not my fault. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. It is not my fucking fault. Alex did nothing. And that monster was a random encounter, by the way. So, um, I... I happened to one child that we so happened to have a, gr a child in the group. Otherwise, she would have just tried to kill you guys. Yeah, it, it was in the lore that I read on one of the pages, so I'm like, okay. This dude is topless in the snow. Hmm. Why is he topless in the snow? I don't know, maybe he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten that far yet, don't spoil the game for me. I'm sorry, I know that had a double meeting there. I'm just telling you about a topless dude. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was great. Um, I can't. It was great hanging out with you guys. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did uh, with the crazy antics that the that this group is getting into. Um, we are planning on uh, doing this every week here on the channel so that way you could hear about all the hijinks our group gets into this snake bitch is gonna show up later and be like lana you're a daddy <laughs> hi or low lana you know what let's go low you know i gave her a child for her to eat okay <laughs> Okay. Are we gonna know? Are you just gonna keep that an evil DM secret? Evil DM secret? <laughs> Can't reveal all of my cards. <laughs> ah, charge redeems the channel points to do the wave. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, it's going to be an evil DM secret. Who knows what happens? But yes, I'll see you guys um I later. What? I just sent an emoji. That is me right now. <laughs> did you okay so did everyone enjoy the adventure today stream and this it was hilarious like always it was something <laughs> did you enjoy it though yeah as, as much as um traumatizing facts i can just said i should did <laughs> Charge is like, oh yeah, I sure did. Me. <laughs> I uh, all right. Well, we'll be back next week, same time, same place. Uh, six p.m. Mountain time. Um, five p.m. Um, Pacific time. So yeah, we do this every Tuesday on the on the channel. We've been doing a couple weeks. We just were trying to work out the kinks before we went live. We were having some issues with some players trying to figure everything out. And we just didn't want to broadcast that. So, yeah. Other than that, yes, we will be here every Tuesday. So, yeah. Go tell your charge, friends. I did charge say you. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, Charged will be here next week, so. Um. We'll be a four-player. <laughs>
I am not. I'm not. That 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 session killed me. <laughs> and... I'm sorry. It's a good thing I basically work alone. <laughs> work. We were talking about sex at work. <laughs> All right, so uh, just a dark heart wants us to play its wicked mom, right? Its wicked mom, which I am not opposed to. I actually like its wicked mom. So let's see, what time is it, anyways? Ten forty-five. Yes, I do want to start streaming Wizard One Hundred One as well and other games soon too. So we will be back to like a regular schedule and stuff. Hopefully, I'm just trying to figure all that out and get it all sorted. So yeah. She hates you. <laughs> I don't think anyone hates you. The Dungeon Master loves all their players and loves to create a world for them to uh, have fun in. Doesn't mean she can't hold any secrets about that world from them, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, let's... Matry, just... so... Yeah, let's go see what... Who's weeming right now. Let's see. It's Wicked Bomb is definitely streaming. Um, yeah, that's basically the person I'd want us to raid anyways. So let's go raid as Wicked Bomb. All right, I'm going to mute, deafen the uh, oh, that yeah. at the moment. So I'll see you guys oh, next time. God. Bye. But at least we finished, right? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Nope, you didn't get a badge. Oh yeah, that's a hard pass. Hard pass, man. I mean, it's kind of cute, but um, no. All right, Ed, take us out of here.